it, it seems, of course, that like what you were talking about the last thing, it's like the, um, you know, the plan that's been developed, you know, already has, has you know, these, these ideas on it, these right. types on it. Right. But now with that blending, that's what makes that, uh, you know, necessary as well. Pulling yeah, well, not only right. that, I know that, for example, in NEA or in some grants, right. they want to see a community have cultural zones, right. and mm -hmm. they will actually specifically target, like, a cultural zone, a type of cultural zone. Mm -hmm. Do we, do we know who, well, in our city, is it cultural zone? I don't think that is. It's not even. That, that, yeah. something that is yeah. not so. No, no. <laughs> it's not right. even. How do you find that information? We would have to figure it out. We would have to create that. that. That'd yeah. be like a university. I feel like there's. I feel like this goes <laughs> right. back into that right. whole mapping of you know the the oh. green book, right. the historical neighborhoods, what mm -hmm. we call historical neighborhoods. I oh. mean, right. We do have downtown listed as a historical neighborhood, but. You know, is it the 70s, is it really yeah. historical? I mean, but right. yeah, I mean, so I think we just have to identify what what we'd like to zone. Like Calhoun Street has definitely had a little bit of zoning because they put in the more historical light posts and all. And it is probably one of the older parts mm -hmm. because it's right by Calhoun Corners that used to be a, you know, one of the major meeting places and churches and all was right there. Right. So that makes sense. That That's probably, other than Fort Hill, probably the most historic mm -hmm. part of our downtown. Yeah. And it's already getting started that way. Right. So if we were to do you know, maybe the bus wraps or things like that, maybe it needs to be a little bit more historically based. I don't know. I mean, I don't know what we're trying to say. Are we going to only do certain arts in certain areas? Well, I think if we're going to go through all the trouble of doing a map, mm -hmm. we should at some point, and it may be that we don't, we're we not quite prepared to talk about that, mm -hmm. but I think it's because we jumped a little. Um, Maybe put TBA cultural zone because mm -hmm. we're going to be doing that. Or we can make it part of the homework and mm -hmm. come back and go back to that mm -hmm. next meeting. Because I don't think we're going to be done today. No. And what about the grant? What grant you said in NEA? Oh, NEA grant. Yeah, uh, I remember looking at NEA grant mm -hmm. and having very specifically in mm -hmm. there about cultural zones. Mm -hmm. So, um, yeah. And there are probably grants out there specific to Latino neighborhoods right. and historically right. black neighborhoods or you know Asian. Yeah. Um, I'm sure there probably are some very specific grants right. out there for those. Or right. like a tax relief. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah. Prominent. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Well, it, you know, with a certain kind of style yeah. that in that neighborhood. Yeah. In a neighborhood. Um, and then uh, and you, you guys all know, in the last thing we talked about the listening session, and that is to be scheduled in the fall. I uh, touched base with Kate over at uh, the chamber and gave us some locations. I touched base with Rhonda. She's, um, she's going to go back, talk with her partners, and see which one. You know, there's a nettle pavilion mm -hmm. out there at the lake. Uh, that pavilion, if it was a smaller one, it could be Abernathy. But I don't think 20 people, I think, is what Abernathy could do. And yeah. I, I see that being bigger, mm -hmm. you know, than that. Yeah. So she's going to, you know, let us know what location is selected and the date in the fall. Mm -hmm. And so that we can talk about, in those culture zones, what people want to see, mm -hmm. you know. And, and Green Crescent Trail is going to be talking with the engineering folks just to see uh, what is possible in those locations. So you only offer the possibilities that, that could work, mm -hmm. you know, easements and all those kind of things. Mm -hmm. um, so uh, should we then agree to just, uh, not table, I don't want to say table it, but should we all agree that uh, in our next meeting we're going to come back to this question or this issue and with, home, with homework pre-prepared to um, you know, discuss how we want how we want to deal with this 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 one point. And All I right. Think cult Starting cultural zones. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Creating them. Um, I think that would be again delineated into city-owned property and privately owned mm -hmm. property because I think one thing we probably want to talk about too at a certain point like there 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 is a recommendation for like another privately owned building to have another right. mural painted mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, but I think we want to think about like 
do we want to mainly sponsor public art on city-owned property, or do we want to do some in on private-owned property in neighborhoods that are deemed in, in, in as part of a cultural zone? But I mm -hmm. need to think about that, and I guess mm -hmm. I think. Bruce Yandel would be another community mm -hmm. resource. Like he knows a lot about the history. What's the name? Okay. Bruce Yandel. Yandel. I, I'll okay. have to ask Lindsay too. You may not be able to do anything on private property. Mm -hmm. So but, before you go down there, let well, me. Well, we did. Oh, we we just, just did it. Actually. Yeah, but they we weren't supposed to. So um, they they told me that it should only be city owned property, but I'll double check that with Lindsay and Andy. And this and but, it may be different with. Um, the, and uh, you know, it may be checked out right or wrong, and it this is a new area that hasn't been touched on, right? Like the zones you talk about, yeah, yeah, like cultural zones and yeah. things like that. So that may be something that would have to be explored. How that was done in Virginia, how that was done in other places, so exactly. See how to, yeah. Let that, me let me ask what they feel about if you were to do something on private property. Uh, no, we're but no, you're missing the point about the public zone issue. The public zone issue really has nothing to do with whether we do something. It has more to do of giving it an, uh, a designation and then therefore anything that goes in there, if somebody wants to write their own uh, their own grant, Paint for, their own law, yeah, whatever. whatever, they can say that this is a zoned area for um, type. Yeah, okay. Yeah. Okay. All right, well, let's move on. You know, I almost kind of think that that green trail interaction area fits right into the zone. Absolutely. I That's think what I'm thinking too. Are one the yeah, same. I think so too. I think they have, they really need yeah. to be one and the same. Yeah. Because it's, yeah. it's trying to identify the same thing. Yeah. yeah. Okay, so, so let's just pass that. Okay. All right. Large scale public art. Okay. okay. Um, and if we want to, like, so I'm just going to read off the name. Yep, I'll um, point it out. Okay. And then um, are we going to take, are we going to just discuss it together then? Uh, I think, yeah. I think okay. so. Let's yeah. see how it rolls. And then we okay. can reevaluate um, if we have to pause. Yeah. So let's, I'll mm -hmm. try to be short and sweet with each of them. Yeah. Yeah. Um, okay. yeah. Hudson Community Care is yeah. number eight yeah. on the map. And it's right here. Y'all, this is 123 or 13 town here. And this is um, Berkeley right here, and going out towards Anderson on 76. So do y'all have a bearing of where you are? Or this is coming out 93 at not why don't, why don't we say, does everybody know where it is? And we can, everybody I say I, yes I or point it out on the map. Yes. Yeah. 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 If every, does everybody know where Clemson Community Area is located? Yeah. 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 Okay. 76 for the traffic light. Okay. So um, high impact somewhat, high visibility, yes. Daily usage, yes. Parking, yes. Amenities, no. Amenities, no. Well-kept garden in front. Um, Upkeep issues, none. Um, no, no cars in the parking lot. Hours are set by patrons and volunteers. This is really a place for um, the people that are needing the Clemson Community Care Facility. They know the hours. Um, the volunteers know when they're supposed to be there, so it's a it's more of a manage maintain thing. Um, I I think that it's well noted that it's also um, where you turn up and around to go to the art center, mm -hmm. um, as well as um, the African American Museum and the CCDC. Mm -hmm. So having something that would be a splash to grab people's attention, and then they could see the sign, and it's just like, oh, oh, what's yeah. going on here? And that's yeah. a major thoroughfare. That, you know, it's yeah. just before the intersection of Ace Hardware and City Hall mm -hmm. and the Best Western now, I'm not even sure. Yeah. But that's a, so if we did a large structure, it could almost be seen from the intersection. Yeah. And I think it would help. I mean, I personally feel like if you put art in the right places, it will drive people past it. So I feel like it'll maybe make more people come in off of 76 instead of cutting through a 93, you know, through campus. I think it's just another attraction of how to divert some traffic. Because I will say the people coming all the way down to 76 now, and I'm just guessing the city would have to, 
you know, do a count to see. Mm -hmm. But more people are circumventing that intersection to come on, 20, on to 123. They're either going perimeter road on around campus to get Seneca. Right. Or they're coming 123 straight down. But that segment between 93 and 123 mm -hmm. is not used as much as it used to be. Mm -hmm. I feel like if you put a big spectacular piece there, people will come that way because it's attractive to them. Yeah. Well, and on on that, maybe they'll see, oh, what is that? I I need that facility for right. myself and right. my family, or oh, I may want to volunteer there, too. or I could donate. Yeah. yeah. So the placement there, and I have to so I yeah. try to see it. Mm -hmm. Is it like for CVS? Is this we're yeah. talking about right there? So right there's there. before CVS. Yeah. You know where the um, Clemson Care is, right. and then you have the road that leads up to the Art Center. Yes. Yeah. Yes. So it's just right there. They mm -hmm. have a good open Space, right open there. area because okay. the building sits back. Yeah. You have a good view. There is a um, the CVS, but there's parking lots. Right. There's an open space that's probably not going to be filled for a while. Um, mm -hmm. So to me, it's a prominent. Mm -hmm. And I'm thinking that I'm not thinking six foot. I'm thinking, you know, 13, 20 by well, 10 type. Maybe mm -hmm. we should also define yeah. the difference between large scale and small scale. Right. Because exactly. in my mind, large scale small. means multiple pieces in okay. a designated area mm -hmm. versus. Small scale, one piece. So you let's put it in 20, like 15 feet plus sculpture. sculpture. Or, yeah, yeah. One, sculpture. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Um, and that I have not done on this yeah. spreadsheet at all. Mm -hmm. um, okay, so I'm going to move forward. Um, these, I've added this. Um, anything, I call them service and facilities, but that's probably not the right thing. I, you know, garbage cans, bus, bus stop shelters, manhole covers. Like I didn't know what to call those, mm -hmm. so I would say um, garbage cans are high impact, high visibility. You can see them. Mm -hmm. um, daily usage, yes. Um, parking in a in a. There's several different types of models. Um, upkeep issues, depending on where you were. I noticed that there was wear and tear and overflowing issues mm -hmm. at the major parks. Um, that are visited, and then I have yes tagging um, and one year. Um, that's something that um, is a matter of us doing some research on like other cities mm -hmm. that have public art mm -hmm. on their trash cans. Mm -hmm. um, starting with Greenville down the road, our friends down there, um, they have public art on their trash cans, and I figured that um, that's something that we could. Yeah. And do some research on One thing I'd point out about trash cans and the um, bus wraps and the sewer lids, if we were to go that route, is that gives us very high impact right away in multiple areas. Yeah. yeah. We're not limited to the one set of trash cans here. Right. Because if we could bring in trash cans, that's all of a sudden a pop of art mm -hmm. everywhere. Right. Mm -hmm. And we've identified um, just in talking several places that need many more trash cans than what they have. And so you could do a nice set or something. But I do feel like trash cans would be a wonderful, quick, high impact um, uh, yeah. all across town that no one would feel slighted yeah. like, oh, only downtown got I mean, the, the, the wraps, yeah. is that what the, the bus wraps you guys are doing? We're doing one, we've got, we're doing one bus shelter. Oh. That's Right yeah. now, and then we're going to do the other shelters, hopefully, but wraps and stuff. Right. Not, no. right. We'll, um, we'll get we'll, to that. We'll, yeah, let's we'll, yeah, we'll, 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 we'll get to that. Okay, so Nettles Park, mm -hmm. um, definitely high impact. There are 100 plus spaces, um, ample activities happening um, throughout each of the spaces. Um, there was no upkeep issues, but I didn't walk the whole entire park. Um, it is the largest city-owned property. It's big. Um, so I just hit the high spot. Um, there were 100 cars in the parking lot when I visited the first time, and that was a Friday afternoon at 5 o'clock. Um, so that was really impressive. Um, and it's the highest used city-owned area, um, the second being the Larry Abernathy Park. So mm -hmm. I put that as one year. Um, again, uh, um, just keeping people happy with us and 
getting people to buy into what we do. Mm-hmm. On Saturday too, they had the parade there. Yeah. The baseball. Yeah, I was there. I was actually working out, and I was like, oh man, I forgot they didn't play the baseball. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm like, They're sweaty and they're like, but yeah, that whole parking lot was packed, like mm-hmm. all areas. Yeah. Yeah. You were there too. Mm-hmm. So yeah. you would consider that large scale, right? That would be a large scale project. Yes. If you'd have multiple. Mm-hmm. Well, I think if we if we can designate like one impactful thing, like we have been talking about some type of water feature that you can act, like run in and out of. Mm-hmm. Like it doesn't have to splash be pads, a pads. pool, a splash pad, like fountains, you know, mm-hmm. shooting lights, just something that like. As your child is in, you know, playing eight and under softball, and the 12-year-old and 14-year-old that are with you are bored out of their brains, you can say, "Hey, throw your bathing suits on. You go play in the splash pad. Mm-hmm. There's, um, there's a wonderful restroom there that, like, when when the eight and under child is finished, you all can change out of your bathing suits." and then ride home. Mm-hmm. And it's the only place with a bathroom where you can do something like that. So mm-hmm. we would need to, I guess, find out for the cost for what we, because you know, splash pad was the first thing as soon as you said water thing. Mm-hmm. But it, you know, seeing what the cost could be and, and seeing if there would be opportunities outside of you know, our budget, uh, grants, right. what have you. To I think there of. are, because the city has already been talking about mm-hmm. some splash pad. Mm-hmm. I know the children's ministry team at our yeah. church actually went to a forum mm-hmm. to give feedback about the splash pad mm-hmm. um, to the city. And so I definitely think it's on their radar. I don't know where they are. Mm-hmm. Well, yeah. so just to get clarification on this, too, because I, I think we're coming up with a lot of good ideas for Nettles. Mm-hmm. So when you compare that to like with Clemson Community Care, we were talking about maybe one large sculpture. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That is pretty easy to implement because you know you have a space, you identify the space and boom, you're done. So that's small scale. Mm -hmm. Large scales were like nettles where you could say every garbage can or a piece of equipment that kids are going to play on Mm -hmm. or all, and that could be like multiple things. That could be just a project in itself with multiple art pieces in it. Mm-hmm. That's kind of what I'm thinking when, when I, so would you all agree that that would be a, a large, the realm of large scale? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. And and I want to be mindful of that a splash pad, we are not the PRTM department, right. we're not Parks and Rec. Right. We, we, are, we are offering this idea for it to be artistically right. done. Uh, yeah. Right. So exactly. I want to throw that out there. Yes. Yeah. yeah. Um, Okay, Old Hallmark and Entourage Shore, this is the only um, private space that I have on this list. Um, it is high impact, high mm-hmm. visibility, um, daily uses, NA, um, there is a garage, street parking. Um, it is the first thing you see when you come to the dense old stretch of buildings in the downtown area. Mm-hmm. Um, I would invite you to pay attention next time as you're coming through and yeah. you see that wide mm-hmm. um, yeah. building there. Yeah. Um, it is private space. It would be a good mural just like Judge Keller's and um, again building on the momentum of our two murals that we have I think it would be nice to round that mm-hmm. out. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Okay. So moving yeah. on um, I have this is ducking into the two years. Um, I've got a bus Stop shelters and manhole covers. I started with, with garbage cans in the first year just because um, there's more of them, it's more impactful, and the bus stop shelters aren't always on the beaten path, and the manhole covers, you have to be physically walking around. So I put that in two years. I put both of them in somewhat. Um, the daily usage, yes. Um, I put no because I, I didn't know how to put that for manhole covers. Um, but it, 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 it is um, a whimsical surprise if you come up on yes. something mm-hmm. yes. of that nature. So um, I put those together. Um, yes, ma'am. You would say for the bus stop shelters and the manhole covers, that would be like a citywide program, right? Right. Throughout the city. Okay. Right. So we would Our just scale. focus on the manhole covers, but we pick designated locations throughout the city. Mm-hmm. Right. Or in a space like downtown or 
Right. Okay. And same thing with the garbage cans. We would too. we would want to decorate a man yes we would want to decorate decorate a manhole cover that um, is in the middle of the street. It might be on the sidewalk, mm -hmm. <laughs> and so that and the garbage cans. I would say the ones that get the zhuzhing would be the ones at the front of the park, not the ones at the back of the park. Right. <laughs> and then, right. So you okay. like first things first. Okay. But Joan, did you want to talk about the bus stop shelter? We're just doing. We're piloting a program. Um, uh, just on the bus shelters. Uh, we have one. The one pilot that we're doing is by the um, is by uh, Ubers. Um, just that one, and we're just seeing how it works and how it gets printed and all that. If you guys want to take over bus shelters, yeah. that's fine. At least we'll have a uh, pilot. We'll have a pilot. Yeah. Uh, the city wanted something, and so we just said, well, we'll, we'll pilot it, and that's what we're doing. So okay. the RFP is out and due on Friday, and then I've got the printer and everything all set to go. So I figured out how to budget it, how to do all that. I've got all the sizes already for all the bus shelters in the city, so I can give you that information, mm -hmm. um, and we can go from there. Can I ask a question? When you say we, who is we? And I'm curious why it didn't come through the Art Commission just to it give came up or down. It came through the so Art Center. Uh, Lindsay and Andy asked me to do it. Um, just put out an RFP and see what we would get. They just wanted to see something, so um, they asked. And we talked about it and we did it. So, what is the what? And we what will it look like? Lindsay? What? What will it look like? Well, we're we're go hopefully we'll get RFPs and then do a a um do what you do with the mural, like a, yeah. do a, 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 a you know yeah community community yeah. vote. Like it's it's on it's on the the website yeah. for um, the art center and it's like we're accepting submissions. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Yep. Yeah. So. And is it um, painting prints? What uh, it will be? It will that. be a print. Okay. It will be a um, like a vinyl type print, um, and it'll only be seen. I mean, it'll be it'll only be seen from the uh, inside, um, and it can only be the back because the two sides have to be clear. Mm -hmm. And how much is the artist receiving, and how much is it the cost? Uh, the artist is receiving five hundred dollars. And the, the cost is different for each one. So this one's about two thousand dollars. They're really not that expensive to get. And is the money coming from the city or no? The it's coming out of my budget. The out of the, the art, art center. center. Okay. Mm -hmm. So it will will it be themed for the art center, like a publication or an advertisement for? No. 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 It will. Um, they can't put advertisements on. Um, there's a law where an ordinance is Oh, that. really? Hmm. So it has to be, if you're going to do something, it has to be like art. Like it has to be a picture. Right. So, yeah. No or historical or, or It can be anything, just cannot be an advertisement. Okay. So uh, what, what again are you all doing on it? They don't know yet. Oh. We don't know yet. We put out the RFP. And we're waiting yeah. to okay. Okay. Uh, And it's just the one. So. Okay. And moving forward, would you like to to take $2,500 out of the art center and continue all of them, no. or just this one? No, we just okay. wanted to do this one. I mean, we would, it, it depends. It, you know, it, it depends on what you guys want to do. So, you know, if it's all public art, then we won't do anything like that. We'll keep that out of our programming. Uh -huh. um, but it was asked, so. Okay. Thank you. You're welcome. Yeah. Okay, um, let's see. So, Shanklin and Sam's Park. Mm -hmm. Um, I've got somewhat impactful. It is downtown next to Spill the Beans. Right, yeah. Daily usage, I would say somewhat, um, somewhat street parking. Amenities, yes. Um, the green space used for picnics, yoga. There's a nature trail with plants marked with QR codes and benches created by the Boy Scouts. Um, garbage is not spelled that way. <laughs> that? No garbage cans in the actual park itself. Um, the upkeep issues, the architecture temporary spring project needs to be removed. They have something mm -hmm. there. Could be a bench. Mm -hmm. could be a and it's utilized. It really is. So it right. tells me that hmm. there needs to be seating. Yeah. Because oh, there definitely people needs get their to be ice seating. cream cones mm -hmm. and go mm -hmm. over to mm -hmm. that that area that and there's square. most of the time when I walk by there's two yeah. or three people sitting on that little Bench. And I oh. would invite you to actually, there's the green space, but actually walk the trail. Mm -hmm. I can't get over what 
a great job mm -hmm. the Boy Scouts did with that. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Like it That's is awesome. phenomenal. Mm -hmm. um, and having having all of the plants identified mm -hmm. in there on the trail. So what you're doing is you're scanning a QR code, mm -hmm. and then it pops up with the actual writing about that plant. Mm -hmm. And that then there's benches so cool. where you can sit. Mm -hmm. I just, it's brilliant. I just can't get over. Um, and isn't it marked for mileage so you actually know? Yes. Yeah, that's what yes. I thought. So exactly. if you're really tracking your miles, I didn't even know there. this existed. Yeah, yeah. it's <laughs> new. The Scouts did it about a year okay. or so ago. Yeah. Okay. Um, and it was, they did it during COVID. And they did hmm. clean it up so nicely that it just lends itself that Shanklin should have okay. a seating area to pull people over because mm -hmm. the path is well worth the venture. And if um, you ever um, try to get an ice cream in the mm -hmm. evening from Spill the Beans, mm -hmm. the line was 20 yeah, deep, and good. there's no place to sit except on that wall. Mm -hmm. So, I mean, if, if, you know, whatever we're going into or coming out of or whatever, uh, what we have seen is the need for public um, access to spaces, and that's just right there. Mm -hmm. So. Mm -hmm. um, um, and then cool. it, is, it is downtown. I put somewhat for everything mm -hmm. just because you you don't know that park is there until you come around the corner. Mm -hmm. But you're like, oh, I could utilize that. Mm -hmm. So um, I've got next one. I've got side with College Avenue in front of TDs and Subway. Mm -hmm. I mean, high impact. You betcha. Oh, yeah. Um, the amenities, no amenities, but I made a note that there's a long concrete wall with small courtyard, lights and um, lights right there, busy intersection, lots of foot traffic. I put it two years um, just because I, I figured that is a low-hanging fruit. I don't know what to put there. I have no idea if we painted the wall, would, would that help <laughs> with some kind of mural? Is there room for like a, create a little sense of community in there where people could fit? There are seats on that patio behind that wall. Uh -huh. There are a few there, and I believe there's a bike rack there. Yeah. So, for one, I think the bike rack could be upgraded mm -hmm. nice. There's a couple of trash cans up there that, again, I think could be um, upgraded. And like you said, the wall, maybe somebody does a mosaic or right. something on the wall, as some type of it's welcome to Clemson, wall. because you straight across, you have the big sign for Clemson University. Uh -huh. All right. Maybe across the street, it should be the something welcoming you to the city of Clemson right. um, as you turn that intersection. So I think there um, it is good visibility. There's brainstorming that. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. And walking cool. path all um, day long. Yeah. So. Catherine Smith, mm -hmm. um, this is the water fountains as mm -hmm. waterfalls as you come in to the right hand side. Um, yes, yes, yes. I put somewhat for street parking. Um, and then a uh, waterfall feature, mm -hmm. um, some tables, popular place for photos and garbage mm -hmm. cans. I had two sets of people while I was there. Um, at the first time I went, they were they got out and took pictures specifically because of the water. Mm -hmm. Again, water mm -hmm. is a draw. Mm -hmm. um, the water fountains, they're leaking. There's um, mm -hmm. benches that have been stolen. The signage isn't cohesive. Mm -hmm. Like, you don't know any of this stuff from just driving no, by yeah. when you're in it. It's mm -hmm. just like, oh, I hope that doesn't flood mm -hmm. down the street. Mm -hmm. <laughs> like, I have pictures. I'm like, oh, God. Um, so I would say that the park is the most visible outdoor city park owned. Mm -hmm. It's a nice feature coming in from downtown. Um, and I would I put it two years, even though it's the most visible, because there's just some uh, upkeep issues there. Mm -hmm. Who's managing that? The city? The city. It, I wonder where the funding is coming from for that. That doesn't bode well for any public art projects if they're not maintained. I mean, I'm not trying to be negative, but that is a concern. It's, it's beautifully maintained mm -hmm. except the water that is leaking through the bricks. Like, mm -hmm. everything else looks beautiful. Okay. And I could tell that somebody decided to uproot the bench and... Mm -hmm. and take the table with them. Um, so I think it's just a matter of choosing um, better seating in there. Mm -hmm. But the benches that they do have in there are so nice. And I love that they have um, people's names in there. Like the harder gave to that park. And his yeah. like, name is on the back of the bench. And yeah. It's just so thoughtfully done. Okay. Um, but it definitely, it's, it's not a, it's a, 
It is shocking that things were taken, like seating, and it's right there by the road. Right. Yeah, right. it's right there. <laughs> just, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, like somebody just decided to take something. Uh, maybe it came up then. We'll yeah. We'll call the maintenance thing is my concern, actually. Yeah. Yeah. This kind of speaks to how we need to make sure that we right. plan for any anything else mm -hmm. that we put in uh, so that it does, does get things. Yeah. Yeah. Um, Jason Park, uh, it is, I put somewhat impactful downtown but hidden by plant growth. Um, daily usage is somewhat, street parking is somewhat, amenities, yes, there's adult swings, the benches, playgrounds, concrete, small pet stage, garbage cans, very hard to see. Again, I mentioned um, no longer can see from the road, and a lot of kudzu in nearby creek is very scary looking. Mm -hmm. um, there, but that playground is so key. Mm -hmm. It's key to the churches mm -hmm. that are close there. It's mm -hmm. key to, I mean, the art center used to have a festival, and mm -hmm. it was covered with kids right um there's there's been um outdoor things that have been in use even uh as in wednesday the early wednesday lunch in may or yeah yeah, yeah the, the spring, spring, the spring yeah. music lunch yeah. to even know that that's yeah. there mm -hmm. um and so i just put it as a five year um but i mean it you know maybe it's it is something that is on the ground um, as a mural from Catherine Smith to J.C. Park that is like saying, oh, there's something over there that you may want to look at. And when you get to J.C. Park, there's at the front of it where the sign is, there's mm -hmm. like just a, a colorful sculpture mm -hmm. with like almost an arch. So if we're bringing them in. You know, it's not, it's not necessarily putting something inside the park. It's more of a like a... Um, get your eye looking over, like what? Why do they even have that right. colorful mm -hmm. arch over there? Yeah, yes. Um, well, like you could do the sidewalks art leading in. Yeah. Like it's let's follow. Why is this art going this direction? Right. It would it's, be yeah. an entry. Yeah. Make it a yellow brick road, yeah. and it's like you've got to follow the yellow brick road. Right? You know it's, something. And it's so close to Abernathy too. Right. I mean, yeah. really well, it almost, leads there, and that's yeah. the thing. I don't think a lot of folks realize that that, that sidewalk mm -hmm. goes on and connects mm -hmm. right into Abernathy. Mm -hmm. It's all connected. I mean, so, I'm telling you guys, that that mural to on, the, on the crosswalk that I saw that mm -hmm. looked like the asphalt was. Mm -hmm. And yeah. there's a lake underneath. Yeah, that would be so cool. And the yeah. fish were underneath, right. but it was still the asphalt. Yeah. It was just really a cool way to let people know that what's there's happening a under there. Yeah, yeah. it's yeah. 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 going this way. Oh, yeah. Nice. <laughs> yeah, that's very cool. Yeah. Yeah. That would be like some sort of transition art yeah. to mm -hmm. um, to Abernathy. Yeah. Um, Gateway Park, I have, so Gateway, um, that is something that we probably need to raise our hands to make sure. Does everybody know where Gateway is? Mm -hmm. Okay, excellent. Mm -hmm. um, I put high impact, no. High visibility, yes. Um, daily usage, no. It has 20 plus spaces for sure. Amenities, it has the adult swing, surprisingly. Um, only one garbage can throughout the whole park, and it's a long park. It um, is a big park. Yeah. There's an unmarked public art and veter veterans granite memorial with American flags. Um, the upkeep issues I saw were some random metal pile, um, a trash is in the overgrowth. Um, there's no activities. I visited three different times. The last time with my daughter, but the activity was that they were maintaining it. There was a guy out um, mowing the grass on that third time. Um, I put tag for public art. It needs to go with the existing public art, or we need to figure out what that is, um, or we need to remove it. We just need to know what mm -hmm. what is because there's something in there. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I don't know how to even describe it to you. <laughs> yeah, I would. I actually thought it was some type of architectural r ruin that's been left. It almost yeah. looks yeah. like a a water wheel type thing, a grain mill or mm -hmm. something. Um, so I think we can probably find out what it is. Right. I don't think it was an installation. I think it might be ruins of something. Okay. Okay. I could be completely maybe wrong. Mark it yeah. and explain. It's, it's yeah. not hard. It's, it's not um, something that is going to hurt somebody, mm -hmm. but I, I, we mm -hmm. just need 
as we're doing inventory, yeah. is that something that we even need to inventory? If no. not, then I think that Gateway Park could be the most perfect sculpture park yeah. in all of yeah. them. I agree. It could be a place where people will go to yeah. on football games. Mm -hmm. I just, I mean, this is all my opinion, of mm -hmm. course, but I just think that should be one of our big projects. Mm -hmm. I agree. Yeah. With that, my my thought on Gateway is it really is in a location that's kind of the gateway for all parts of the city, and it's a big enough park that, as far as making a destination for a stroll, for a walk, for doing laps with a stroller, or you know morning walk with your friends, mm -hmm. um, I think if it was lit well, it could be a beautiful place to be in the evening. There's a um, retention pond in there that I believe every time I've been there had water in it, so I don't mm -hmm. know that it goes dry, mm -hmm. but it should have a fountain to keep it from being stagnant. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It could probably be cleared out a little bit and fixed because it's got some great floral and, you know, going on in there, yeah. some type of plants and all. Yeah. But um, There's so much that location to me is, to me, feels like it was spread out as a presentation for art. Like yeah. that's what it's been waiting for. Yeah. The trees have to be limbed up. Yeah. Um, because you really can't see it from the road. And I think yeah. if you get you know, if you start, I think we talked about how Lawrence has the small pads that they have already in the ground ready for art and then each year they're adding a piece or two, mm -hmm. depending on their budget. Mm -hmm. We could do that and then maybe also have a larger piece in the center of one of them, so it really draws your eye from the road. Mm -hmm. um, but I think that's going to be the key, is getting something in there that makes people like think, I need to stop and see what that is. Mm -hmm. And I feel like the more people we get to look at that park, well, the I, more they're going to think, wow, this yeah, is actually yeah. a really good location. Yeah, and from a, no, I'm sorry. Oh, I was just going to say from a business perspective, too, anybody who owns a, owns a restaurant around the area, mm -hmm. like okay. Silver Beans or whatever, mm -hmm. and there's a couple empty lots potentially, that could be a great like thing for them. Oh, like mojos, people, yeah. We'd go get ice cream yeah. and then go yeah. and walk, right or go get a burger. Mm -hmm. and, yeah, I certainly enjoyed my walk through there. Mm -hmm. I didn't enjoy the road noise. That is mm -hmm. something to mm -hmm. think about. Um, but I I do think that um, that's almost like a plan within a plan. And when you're talking oh, about yeah. large scale, yeah, large scale, and that's that the is reason definitely why it's scale. not pushed away. It pushed at five years because I. I think that it would need that much time to have something developed by then. I feel like um, not just keying it to five years. I think five years for maybe the first piece of art in yeah. there. Mm -hmm. But I feel like that one needs to take a priority in some of our financing right now to, <laughs> to get the city to prepare it. Yes. Mm -hmm. Because Absolutely. there is work to be done before we can put them. a piece in yeah. there. Um, so for I sure. feel like that almost a, needs to be a priority as, uh -huh. as one of our projects. Yeah. That's not necessarily providing an individual piece. We are prepping for many pieces down the road. Yeah. And I definitely would like to tag that as a Clemson City right. Art Commission yes. property to continue to work on. I heard you say that lighting, like I was just yeah. you know, listening to everyone mm -hmm. saying that, you know, the, and that's, a, that's a city. Out. Yeah, and mm -hmm. that's a city issue there. And you know, safety at night. Something mm -hmm. like you know, you can use this. And then like uh, you talked about including including a fountain because the water mm -hmm. pieces tend to get people there. Mm -hmm. The trees need to be limbed up, and that would be like prep yeah. leading into the the art stuff. pads and yeah, yeah. the pads all yeah. of the foundation. And work. the other beautiful thing about that space and where you could literally put a gateway in mm -hmm. is right at the street where the art center. Uh, to one of the entrances to go into the mm -hmm. neighborhood and the art center. So it all ties in. I mean, you almost could envision, as we look top down on this, is kind of like creating some sort of art path trail um, that everything kind of interacts with each other in it, some it way. It will. I mean, yeah. it's following the Crescent Trail somewhat, mm -hmm. and it, they're, they're going to be very connected mm -hmm. at some point. But I feel like that is our premium space as far as the amount of landscape and square footage we have to make an impactful art area. Yeah. And that, to me, is my number one. And um, it is for all mm -hmm. ages, but yeah. I would say don't worry about putting a splash pad or more swings or 
you know, a kids playground in there because there's so many. The mm -hmm. city has done such a wonderful job mm -hmm. putting swings and mm -hmm. playground sets. This is almost like date night. Mm -hmm. Yeah, mm -hmm. like exactly. it, or bring your whole family. Right. And you don't have to worry about is the child going to have to climb on something. No, no. the child is is um experiencing something in a different way. Right. Mm -hmm. This is like a seriously cultural area. Yeah, right. Absolutely. You could have a water feature, like a pretty fountain, or like do something in that, make or, almost like yeah. a Japanese mm -hmm. um, garden on that one end, you know, mm -hmm. where the mm -hmm. where that drainage area Where the drainage is. areas, yeah. Or like put a really cool bridge over it. I don't mm -hmm. know. Mm -hmm. I wonder thing. if we can draw, start drawing people to that mm -hmm. park. Um, well, I think I might have mentioned to some of y'all the lighting over there. Mm -hmm. To me, I already like the park as it is, but I feel like if we could go in and just do a quick pop with some type of lighting. Um, yeah. And I had mentioned that in the evening, you know, having some of the just twinkle lights that drop out of the trees. Mm -hmm. Or um, I was at Brook Green Garden just a couple of weeks ago, mm -hmm. and they light it up at night in the summer. I think it's called Summer Lights at Brook wow. Green. Mm -hmm. And they had very simple lighting that I took pictures of and looked at closely and some were just the Japanese lanterns. They used them all throughout trees. With They literally had like Christmas lights. It was mm -hmm. not industrial specialty. Mm -hmm. These were the ones you buy after Christmas is over for $1.99 and <laughs> you get 200 strands. Mm -hmm. um, but they had them on metal poles with the lanterns stacked like a shish kebab mm -hmm. in different colors and they created the aurora, aurora borealis aurora. is that what you call it oh, so that's it went so through cool. colors and you know you could almost do parts around that park like seasonal like do your blues here and your yellows and do the seasons as you go around the park but lighting to me is such an mm -hmm. inexpensive quick right. impact and yeah. i feel like if you could turn some lights on out there in the yeah. evening that would draw people very I love quickly. That date night type thing. And oh, then right as now. you start Definitely adding outside those, is where you gotta be. Right? those yeah. cultural pieces, it'll be like, oh my gosh, this garden just keeps getting. Because to me, it's very much like a secret garden. Yep. Yeah. And if you walk in that entrance of Gateway off of Highway 93 and Vineyard Road, I think it was an old vineyard, right at the first citizens right. intersection. You are literally almost walking through an arbor of trees. Right. It is so dense right there. Right. And I feel like if you walk through it and have just an impact of light right there, and it just flows into the more open part. Well, and we walked it that yeah. one night. We did as walk it, it was going yeah. to dusk, and mm -hmm. um, it was beautiful. It, that would need to get cleaned up. But can you envision some kind of sculptural um, arch arch way that would actually yeah. go like would be the entrance mm -hmm. to that park right there? It just hits them. But the exciting part to me is the city already owns that land, and it is it is a big place, a it's good draw. A good um, it's accessible from lots of other places. The lighting part to the one or two years? I would and like to. Sure. Because I'm, and just like, you know, and put it at the top yeah. of the list and it just be a continuing process. Or it could just right. be an installation for a while and like see how people every react. Year, let's yeah. Send the gateway yeah. Well, and, honestly, you know. honestly, what we would need to do is say we're going to allocate money. To Gateway Park, mm -hmm. just to do an art like a public art plan, like which would include sculpture, water feature, you know, yeah, which, whatever, they, you mm -hmm. know, whatever, and then literally have a whole, you know, plan, plan layout, or, okay, yeah. and then that we would say, okay, year one and two we mm -hmm. put in lights, year three we we'd put the first sculpture in, mm -hmm. year four we do a Japanese garden with, I'm just making stuff yeah, up, whatever, yeah. Yeah. you know, something like that. Well, but I do a plan within a plan because yeah. it's just so yeah right yeah. right. So here we so we could move that we could probably to, or push that up and then just allocate allocate. I cannot <laughs> talk today, you yeah, guys. It's Sunday. You're oh my god! No, yeah. I think it's lack of sleep. Allocate yeah. money just for the plan and the lighting. Yeah. So the two large scale projects right now will be metals and Gateway Park. Mm -hmm. okay. We'll just we're throwing it out there. Oh yeah, nothing's yeah. yeah. right right committed. Oh yet, no, no, just that's just kind of yeah, yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. right. Um, I mean, I would love to see that because I think just drawing more people there, just to even walk it day or night. Yeah. will make them have more interest of like, oh, yeah, some art projects in there would be great. Cause mm -hmm. as, as we know, there are a lot of people that have never heard of Gateway Park, <laughs> don't know where it is, and I they don't know, know that parcel exists. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, and you live in downtown. Yeah, so and that parcel is just 
it's just it's waiting. Well, it's like a sacred be, garden. Yeah. Church. Yeah, it's no. a sacred garden. Yeah. And then like you mentioned mm-hmm. earlier about painting asphalt mm-hmm. pieces and mm-hmm. stuff, because I always think like you have that rigid mindset. Mm-hmm. A mural has to go on the wall. Yeah. <laughs> and then you have, you know, yeah, you have the asphalt. Yeah. Yes, the mural can go on the sidewalk. Yeah. Yeah. And mm-hmm. that leads the person's eye to where you're yeah. going. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I mean, mm-hmm. it's literally a blank slate. Yes. It is. And, it, and not mm-hmm. only that, everyone passes it yeah. at some point. Mm-hmm. And, yeah. What is our budget again? Right. <laughs> <laughs> well, it depends on the project. Yeah. And it depends on if we can get grants for some of it yeah. or you know, if we're allocating about. the. Um, you know, some of preparation for that would probably fall under city works, you know, mm-hmm. budget. It wouldn't all be coming right out of our what budget. What do we have about so. sixty thousand right now? 60 yeah, something. Sixty or ninety thousand? Because we've had we've account. had two years of allocation, yeah, right? I, yeah, I we've mean, got to be close to the hundred thousand. Yeah, we have to be pretty close. So mm-hmm. I mean to like say hire a, a firm that is mm-hmm. very you know familiar with doing that those kinds of projects, mm-hmm. and having them do a plan would be Oh, yeah. it would be a great way of using that money. Mm-hmm. I can find out for sure what it is. Okay. Yeah. And um, then, so like we're talking about that, the grants, like you named the EA grants, but also um, Bob mm-hmm. Rupover is talking about the the different grants you could write for related to infrastructure, right. uh, trails, and, and tours. Mm-hmm. And, of course, we're talking about that for Green, green Book Tour, but mm-hmm. also it could be a grant for if we were doing that as, you know, tours and trails, writing it for that type mm-hmm. of thing. Mm-hmm. If, if green that space, work. yeah. Right. Mm-hmm. But I, Especially I, if we're connecting it. I'm like you were saying, an art mm-hmm. path trail and things like that. Yeah. Good job, guys, for okay. the last page. You know, All right. Um, Larry Abernathy Park, everybody know where that is? Yep. Okay. Um, I have, yes, 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 yes. Um, pavilion, large boardwalk, sidewalk, covered adult swings, boat docks, um, 20 plus gar- um, garbage cans. Mm-hmm. Some overflowing garbage cans would be the upkeep issues. High volume, people are coming to the park. That, um, there is missing poetry plaques on the railings. Um, there's um, a majority of the parking was used, and it was um, the second highest use to the end park that I could see. Um, I put five years, however, concentrate on updating the poetry plaque mm-hmm. coming from the department at Clemson University? Question mark. Somebody mentioned in the meeting two meetings ago. Like, oh, such and such is working on that. And my on mind, replacing the poetry plaques. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I want to say it is the university. Okay. One of the departments of the university. Yeah. Joan, do you remember that? The plaques at Abernathy Park that have poetry on it that are um, on the sidewalk or the job. Yeah, it's not us for sure. Yeah. Um, well, I'll try yeah, to find I out. Know. Okay. And let you know, um, somebody's got a parks and parks and serv- park services have to know, I think. Okay. But um, yeah, my understanding is that those are in the midst of being repaired. One of the things I will say about Larry Abernathy Park too, I mean, it is already used a lot. And mm-hmm. I, I went down the path yesterday, and there was somebody having a picnic out on the tables behind Wendy's, um, a few people. But we're about to get that um, apartment complex that's going to be right. Connecting yeah. like their back entrance for parking is going to edge Abernathy, from what I understand. So you're looking at probably maybe 400 apartments or something or beds. I'm not sure of those people using that park as their backyard because it is their backyard. Mm-hmm. So I think we want to put a, a focus on this and maybe do even more lighting or more mm-hmm. sidewalk art or something. Um, that's attractive but makes people take pride in it? Um, well, I can tell you there were several different garbage cans and they were all overflowing mm-hmm. and it was just so janky looking. Yeah. Um, and it was just like, oh, these were the ones that we meant for the park to have. Right. And then it was just like, oh, bringing a rubber made. Some place yeah. else and we put them there because mm-hmm. we had, you know, the overflow. And then it was just mm-hmm. like, Here's the Rubbermaid garbage can that mm-hmm. overflow. I mean, mm-hmm. it is, they cannot keep up with the trash in there. Yeah. Um, it's because it's so used. So I would say that our our main focus there was just like, let's just get garbage cans that all look um, uniform. Yeah, uniform. Yeah. 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 Cohesive and, that, and attractive. Cohesive yeah. and attractive. Mm-hmm. I think that is, and, and then where people have vandalized the poetry site, mm-hmm. let's just 
be on top of that and mm -hmm. figure out, let's just do that. Mm -hmm. And I, so that's why I put it in the five years. Um, and then the Art Center, African American Museum, and then CCDC, mm -hmm. um, I put somewhat um, for high impact. I put no for high visibility. We all know that. Mm -hmm. um, um, daily usage, I put yes. And then parking, yes. Amenities, um, no. It, I mean, it, I put the building. It's a building. Um, it's got public art. It's from John Acorn. Mm -hmm. It also has in the in the circle, and it also has a quilt mural. Mm -hmm. um, and I put when I visited, there was no activity, but it was the time of the year that I was there, and we're also in COVID. Yes, um, so I know that the museum is currently closed. Yes, um, it's going to be opening with a with an exhibit coming up more toward winter. So that's why it's, mm -hmm. there's no activity from that. I know. Um, that camps have been going on at the mm -hmm. art center during mm -hmm. the whole yeah. summer. Mm -hmm. We yeah. have been using the garden. It was just for the time concerts of year. and um, yeah. And we just used it for an event, so we're using mm -hmm. it for our events. So. Yeah. Okay. I'm wondering how how can we direct attention though from the the proposed sculpture right there by the uh, the center. What do you call it? The right Clemson, the, yeah. yeah, community Clemson care. Community care. How yeah. can we use uh, mm -hmm. A way to direct attention mm -hmm. up that way. Yeah, well, I think uh, that's what's going through my mind yeah. because then that gets the traffic up there, yeah. and people can see that because it is a low visibility mm -hmm. kind of spot, and that's mm -hmm. been an issue. I mean, ongoing. You right. know, right. how yeah. can we get people to go that way? I would like that to be a, a part of this. To even if you're not putting something directly in front of the building, mm -hmm. you know, get that's people. That's exactly up there. what I was thinking. So you know, part of our strategy would be priority one to put a sculpture there but also make it part of getting people engaged and going up the hill up. Yeah. and then gateway park mm -hmm. coming the mm -hmm. other way and talking about zones that could that whole area could mm -hmm. be called the cultural arts zone yeah mm -hmm. and so everything that surrounds this area would be reflective of that yeah. now Are those buildings moving yeah, that's smart. Not at current, but like the the um, you're talking about the art and the yeah, the yeah. art center could be that's still yeah, yeah the, the art, art center I mean, there's gonna be I believe they're gonna put that in the five year yeah yeah, year yeah. Okay. five or ten years yeah Sam would stay yeah that they so would take over sure the whole building move. for that for okay. the Cam African okay. museum um but, but still, I do CCDC? think. No, no, they're, they're saying they, yeah, they don't want to go. They know yeah. They're not yeah, we yeah. asked them that question mm -hmm. directly, and yeah. they were like, "No, this is and perfect for it's us." And still, a family. relatively new building. Mm -hmm. The right. building hasn't mm -hmm. been there that long. Right. I just wanted to make mm -hmm. sure before we yeah right oh, yeah about moving no. people up here to yeah. the yeah. place. <laughs> yeah. Right. yeah no 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 they're not yeah and that's a historic building it is yeah it's even though it's been remodeled and you know grant a little over a million dollar grant to try to remodel that building but that you know that was the, that was the black school prior to yeah. integration so and then it yeah, yeah and then it became the the elementary school right, the early right. part of the elementary school Before, yeah. and then it became yeah. part of the elementary school well, and then it became a, then it became the kindergarten right it was yeah. pre-k and, and, and k yeah yeah okay um, so we're moving down to some things that are outside mm -hmm. of the box thank you mm -hmm. um the college avenue under the train trestle next to the chamber of commerce and the verizon store between and the verizon two. store mm -hmm. so i put high impact yes my goodness, there's a lot of traffic. Mm -hmm. High visibility, daily usage, um, there's no parking, there's no amenities, um, but it's just a sidewalk that goes underneath the trestle mm -hmm. and it is used daily. Oh my gosh. Yeah. Um, and I put it as, as 10 years just because I wanted to make the map. I just can't wrap my head around that space. Mm -hmm. I just want to dart and tag it. The underpass. Because yeah, I, I think, think so. That, that was, I think I, there's I, enough out there research yeah. that we mm -hmm. could do mm -hmm. to find something. And it's used a lot on game day. Yeah. I mean, of course, oh, yeah. the students use it all the yeah. time, but on yeah. game day, like you see people, because I live mm -hmm. right towards Daniel, mm -hmm. and it's, I mean, people yeah. will see that kind of like. You know, a stained glass window mm -hmm. has. The pieces in between the lead, the lead, the lead. yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Mm -hmm. I could see something like using the train trestle as the leading mm -hmm. and color in between. Oh, cool! You're talking on the, the sides 
on on the or just like the actual train trestle. Like oh, I've okay. seen I've seen art almost like a kaleidoscope. Okay. Mm -hmm. Gotcha. Color underneath a train before, and I just mm -hmm. think something like that could be considered very cool. To draw mm -hmm. your eye. Are yeah. you talking about on the underside looking up or on the look side at, coming out? Okay. Yeah. 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 I think yeah. it'd be great to yeah. see examples mm -hmm. of like train trestle mm -hmm. art. Yeah, because yeah. we're we're trying to see it, but you've yeah. seen it, and we need to. <laughs> yeah. And again, that's another very big entrance point into our city. Right. Yeah. People coming down from, you know, Seneca and Sunset and so forth are coming into the city that way, and we have oh, the right people right. coming off of 76 right. that are looking at the sculpture and mm -hmm. so forth. So, mm -hmm. um, there's some good opportunities there. Like city, there's a city in California called Emeryville, and I when I was there. There's a an overpass where pedestrians mm -hmm. walk underneath yep. the, the highway, and they had all these whimsical like sculptures just randomly placed mm -hmm. in kind of the the part that was off the road and off yeah. the sidewalk, and it was really pretty visually interesting. Mm -hmm. I'm looking to see if I can mm -hmm. find the pictures maybe to send to all of you mm -hmm. to show you, but I thought. There could, and I love what you just suggested too, Jennifer. Like, there's some, maybe there's something really unique to that space mm -hmm. that could be presented there. You want it to be able to be seen mm -hmm. from 123. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I mean, I just pulled up just a quick, you know, and Google search. And, and they've got, that's like it? our trouble. Oh, yeah, that's, <laughs> that's very cool. That looks so that's cool. almost like our trestle yeah. right there. Yeah. And if wow. you go from underneath. In San Jose, oh, wow. under overpasses, mm -hmm. they have lights that go mm -hmm. on and off mm -hmm. that are artistically yeah. done. It's really mm -hmm. cool, too. Oh, yeah. 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 yeah, so they have it on the ceiling yeah. and the side. So it's kind of, I think there's lots of them. Look at this okay. one. Okay, again, speaking kind of outside of our areas. Uh, that is not darted and tagged on the index, um, and neither is this one. That's why I have NA by it. Uh, footpath bridge leading to Clemson Elementary mm -hmm. School. Mm -hmm. It is high impact, all of these things. It is a bridge, um, no parking. Um, it is well maintained, mm -hmm. and I just want to dart and tag. We could do things for the cars that look up at the bridge mm -hmm. as you come into the town, city. Mm -hmm. and we could also do something um, for the people that walk and use their bicycles across, across the bridge. Yeah, like on the either pit, side. For yeah, example. yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. Like entering under an archway yeah. or some type of sculpture or something. That'd so that'd be, cool. be like a partnership with like the Green Crescent Trail to talk with them about it. Because that, that bridge is a part of that, right? Is, are we talking I, about I, don't, I think it was just put in by the city as a footbridge. Yeah. I don't think it was mm -hmm. facilitated was, by the Green Crescent no, Trail. It, it, it was just part of from, um, the, the community public. needing the to get the children off of the... started that project, right? Is that the one we're talking about that yeah. goes to... To, uh, yeah, yeah. Okay. it's because yeah. the children, it was just not safe right. yeah. to walk on the bridge yeah. across yeah, to like the elementary was, school, and you've got a, a large neighborhood that was yeah. crossing that bridge, mm -hmm. uh, and kids really, and then the amount of cars arriving to deliver kids to school, it was just Crazy. Like, not yeah. a good situation, mm -hmm. so they did, but I definitely think the bridge could have some impact coming in from the roadway as well as on the ends. Mm -hmm. I think um, we should recommend to the city when they do the rebranding mm -hmm. that that should be a branded a spot. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, yeah. Yeah. I think that's a great idea. City, mm -hmm. yeah. but I think we should kind of hold on to that for mm -hmm. whoever rebrands. Mm -hmm. you know, we need to make that a major entrance into the city. Mm -hmm. I like that. Agree. Um, wall in front of Chamber of Commerce. Mm -hmm. I don't have the actual building mm -hmm. Chamber of Commerce but the wall. That is a good um, spot. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I mean, it's just, it's, it's there, it's Ask big, it's kind of <laughs> just like the other two that we went over, mm -hmm. so I pushed it to 10. Mm -hmm. um, the roadway entrance to the city of Clemson. Now this is, okay, go past Clemson Community Care, mm -hmm. um, go past the CVS, mm -hmm. at that stoplight, mm -hmm. Take a left, a look to your left in your head. There are flagpoles mm -hmm. and there is a um, sign there. Mm -hmm. um, the, city, the city of Clemson sign. The city yeah. of Clemson mm -hmm. sign and it's telling you what's happening mm -hmm. and when these meetings are. Right. Um, so I, I don't, 
I don't know what to do there. Um, I just want to tag it because it's so highly visible. I know. Um, it's just such a busy intersection, and it's not that we want to drive people to go there, even though they're sidewalks. Mm -hmm. I mean, they could go there. During uh, seasons, the a lot Christmas of people use goes. that. Yeah, during seasons, a lot of people use it. Like when the yeah. kids are here doing rowing, um, rowing competitions mm -hmm. and all, a lot of those hotels are full of oh, teams, yeah. and those kids all walk downtown. Mm -hmm. They don't yeah. get back on their buses. So there's a lot of foot traffic there. But again, um, going back to the rebranding, mm -hmm. like we need that. Yeah, I agree. Cohesive. Oh, yeah. There Cohesive. is a, and, and if you go across the street where the Ace Hardware is, mm -hmm. and there's the light there, mm -hmm. and then there's some green space yeah. over there, mm -hmm. I think that is owned by the city. Is that correct? Or the train depot? Uh, well, I'm not I, sure. It kind of flows There's like that. a little spot there, and uh, oh. that could make a really cool yeah. place. For Actually, something. back in the day, uh, wasn't there an entrance into Calhoun Street right there over the and train block? It might be right behind, right yeah. beside the Ace Hardware. I do feel like at one point there used to be. It a, almost looks like they're right. I feel the like track. there used to be okay. a long, long time ago yeah. an entrance yeah. into the Calhoun neighborhood oh, there. But there is so like probably a little, is city property. Yeah, there is a little grassy area that mm -hmm. you could put a cool mm -hmm. little. You could put a large scale actually mm -hmm. sculpture mm -hmm. over there. Um, we just need to check on that one mm -hmm. though, because I don't know if they've ever considered that because. It's, Kind of a pure, you know, as far that's as. That's a strange. That's a strange. Every, there's so much going on. I know. Okay, I just want to check time. It's 3:56. We're right. talking about this. Right. Okay. No, we time. allocated a lot of time. We're yeah. kind of doing. Just we're like getting a, a lot hour. of this stuff done all at the same time. Uh -huh. So oh, you're good. good. Great. Okay. Yeah, you're um, good. So I put a green trusset trail on here. I put like. I mean, they're already moving forward. There's, if you go mm -hmm. to Great Gateway Park, there is signage. There is, um, and Clemson Park, there is signage. There's a beautiful, huge concrete sidewalk, too, behind Clemson Park. So I just want to keep them on the map. It might be that, you know, our contribution to the Green Crescent Trail is not that the bridge is the Green Crescent Trail, but it's mm -hmm. on it. Mm -hmm. It's like, oh, we're going to do this. It's mm -hmm. not maybe like public art going down the trail, but mm -hmm. it's just like we're hitting the highlights. The Green Crescent Trail goes through the Gateway Park. Mm -hmm. We are acknowledging yep. um, that kind of thing. So maybe we're just keeping that in mind. Like a um, sculpture mm -hmm. or something. In well, there. and if we do get into ordering you know, artistic bike racks and stuff, we could look at right. places along mm -hmm. the trail to put those be because good. a lot of times people will take the you know take the trail and then they want to stop or they have kids that are going to get off at Toddy's place and do the swings or something and yeah. then continue on. So it's just something we could work with them on. Well, I think that um, they're just doing such a fantastic job. They really are. I mean, they really mm -hmm. need to be acknowledged on this sheet. So. Mm -hmm. um, okay, so Clemson Central Rec uh, Center, um, yes, so many people use it. Uh -huh. um, you know what's there, indoor pool, basketball courts mm -hmm. that they've added. Um, you do have to have a membership to join or be visiting a rec team, but other than that, it's a small membership. And I put it in 10 years just because it's a building. I couldn't foresee having public art on the inside, but mm -hmm. you know, if we maybe if we look at a wall or something, mm -hmm. there could be mm -hmm. you know wall. something yeah. that you yeah. know, representing the to space. That space. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. What about a sculpture mm -hmm. on? Is that? Plus 93. Yeah, 93. out on the road. You turn into the library mm -hmm. in the rec center. Mm -hmm. All of that back there. Mm -hmm. Well, know. see, we're getting so into, I think, central property. Oh, okay. So. Um, oh, yeah. Yeah, so mm -hmm. this is a kind of a hybrid kind of Is that central property, though? I think it is. I mean, that's the central. Half parties, right? Yeah. 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 You think half parties? Clemson Central yeah. Library, Clemson mm -hmm. Central mm -hmm. Rec. Yeah. Yeah. So, mm -hmm. Um, okay. And then moving forward, so I want to talk about all of these all together, all of the um, what I consider um, neighborhood parks. Mm -hmm. right. So um, Abel, Ashley Deering, which uh, is Toddy's place uh, as well for me. Mm -hmm. The Clemson Park behind the Union, um, the United Methodist mm -hmm. Church, the Earl Anderson Park in Camelot, Mountain View Park neighborhood. Um, these are all wonderful parks and pretty well maintained except um, we're having 
you know, upkeep issues with Mountain View because of all of the trees and um, the difficulty of maintaining the, the storm mm -hmm. and everything, but out of everything else, um, looks good. It's got trash cans. One of them has a military memorial in it. Um, and they're, they're nice spaces. Um, but I would say let's, if we do one thing for one neighborhood, let's consider like that for all of the neighborhood mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and think of, it's not a one size fits all, but let's, um, look at it almost like we're going to tackle the neighborhood all together. Yeah. Mm -hmm. and, mm -hmm. Yeah. yeah. I was they, thinking the same thing. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. That it's, and they're, they're so tucked away that mm -hmm. it's not a high impact. Mm -hmm. um, it's not that they're not a priority. I just think that it's, it needs yeah. to be a bigger mm -hmm. conversation. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Well, um, one of the nice things about those two is that's a good place for trash cans. But again, we can yeah. hit it all at the yeah. same time. That's it would be a great location for the sewer lids if we could do the yeah. sewer or yeah. the water, um, stormwater runoff yeah. lids. Yeah. There's a couple of those. Because you could map that. Like if you were to install 20 different artistic sewer covers or something, yeah. you could have a brochure that's like find the, you know, find the art or whatever. Yeah. Um, because mm -hmm. I've been in other towns where you have a key code to go find, you know, the different specialty pieces that are literally all over town. Mm -hmm. You know, um, yeah. in my hometown there's um, tree fairies type thing and they're like little sculptures that have been sculpted into the trees. And there's a map of where they are around the island and some are on private property you know but they're at a sidewalk where you can take a picture with it but they're tree carvings and they're just all over the place but they put together a nice brochure great thing to do on a rainy day when you can't you know go to the beach right but um and you're getting touches something in. you're getting little touches in all over before you do that right. main like mm -hmm. 10 year thing mm -hmm. you're, they're already seeing it and you yeah. could do lid covers that are themed for that neighborhood or the other neighborhood but it could come together right. in another form of an art map you know, yeah, yeah so, I love that. And I think those are high impact. Um, Public City Garage, um, you all know where that is. I'm sure. Um, the only thing that I found, everything was clean all the way going up to the roof. Mm -hmm. um, I did take the elevator, I parked my car, and it did smell like urine. Mm -hmm. um, <laughs> that was the only upkeep thing that I saw. Um, and then I, I put, you know, wherever it's most impactful, like if it's the entrance. Um, the footbridge leading into the building or the entrance to the garage, that's mm -hmm. kind of what we would do, not once you get into the garage. Yeah, right. But, yeah. Um, and again, that was not as a priority, just because we mm -hmm. have so much going on downtown that right. um, I put that there. Okay, so um, other things to consider, I'm going to talk about 12 Mile and Dawson Park together mm -hmm. and skip over the um, cat bus. I just didn't make cat bus a priority because um, mm -hmm. it was more of a like a facility. Mm -hmm. right? um, 12 Mile and Dawson, I did not make it a priority just because it's not a city-owned property. And we'll let, um, after we all circle out of here, we'll let the next people mm -hmm. right. <laughs> right. Yeah, worry about, yeah. you know, doing things because once we, you know, is this Army Corps? Is that who owns Dawson? It is currently yeah. that 12 mile, uh, and they yeah. were there were some initial discussions on do that would they want to relinquish over a period of time to the city and it would uh -huh. be city property that 12 mile. So mm -hmm. it is. You said it was Army Corps then. Yes, okay. yeah, it is Army Corps, but the okay. city is maintaining the entry. Yeah. Now. Okay. Okay. Mm -hmm. Um. And it could be a trash can thing. Like, mm -hmm. we could put trash cans there. Sure. Mm -hmm. um, okay. So, um, the police station, municipal court, all of this, city hall is mm -hmm. what this is. Um, I, not really facility, um, no, only for employees kind of thing. There's, um, uh, no, hold on. Is Dalton? Who no, owns this Dalton? is this is the downtown. downtown. Yeah, yeah, that's the uh, yeah, that's the, the okay, little so bit, the just, substation. Okay, so scratch through the municipal court and mm -hmm. the police. It is the police station. I uh -huh. okay. Wait, I made a boo boo. Wait, are you I'm talking confused. the police the substation? Downtown Unity Mural. The substation. Sub, yeah, yeah, the substation. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So this is the sub police station. Right. Um, so I you know said there's already a mural, so right. I'm not making a priority mm -hmm. um, because that's. May change. Yeah. 
um, the public city and work, that's probably not the right name for it, but mm -hmm. it's like if you want to take and get free mulch mm -hmm. or, yes. you know, you know mm -hmm. not a priority. Sewage mm -hmm. treatment is not a priority. Um, and then what is not on here is um, the fire station. Uh, when I cross-reference, mm -hmm. I don't have that here, but I would say that that wouldn't be a priority because we don't want to bring people, people. there. Yeah. Um, <laughs> And then there is a meeting room. We're talking the new one on Issaquina? Yeah, there's, yeah. Yeah, there's yeah. Okay. You want a dart and tag? Why don't we go look at it? Mm -hmm. Yeah. But uh, back to really quickly, Dawson Park, who um, who does the city lease that from? Do we know? Anderson um, County. I Anderson County? Yeah. Would we do trash cans there? Or do, because it's like that, you wouldn't even look at that? I think we need to figure out who owns the trash can mm -hmm. before mm -hmm. we see the trash can yeah. there. That was just mm -hmm. like, I don't know how to wrap my head around that. Right. Yeah. yeah. So, but, um, but 12 mile, do you think that's a possibility, you guys, for well, trash Well, I say phenomenon? if we're doing it for um, 12 mile, we would do it for Dawson Park. Right. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Like, because those are kind of the same thing. They're yeah. not city-owned properties, mm -hmm. but they're managed by city. Mm -hmm. Like, who pays for the trash can? Mm -hmm. Do we get Anderson to pay for it? Yeah, or yeah. do we go in half yeah. and half or something? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I'll tell you what, when you look at all this, there's a lot. There's a lot for the mm -hmm. city to maintain. Mm -hmm. Right. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. 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 And even yeah. for grants, don't they ask you those questions of how uh, how it be maintained after? Oh, yeah. So that's a, mm -hmm. I mean, that's a concern. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, so what is missing here is City Hall itself. Mm -hmm. Right. And the portraits and the shadow boxes that are here, we need to dart and tag those. Mm -hmm. And I don't have that as a party on the map. I will add it to the Excel spreadsheet because it does have a couple of parts in it. Mm -hmm. um, and I think that the, that the portraits, I think is an ongoing project that we need to keep on our radar. Mm -hmm. Like, who is the next mayor that needs a portrait? Mm -hmm. So, um, J.C. Cook. <laughs> J.C. Cook. Mm -hmm. There you go. Um, so I will add that. I also, so um, City Hall's missing. I'll add it. Fire Station's missing. I'll add it. Um, Green Trail, I will add that um, just as like this is uh, what's on our rail radar radar mm -hmm. also, right, i can't talk either yeah you know, i don't know yeah i was gonna say also municipal court and police station yeah right here on this road the whole city yeah, yeah. so it's this whole stretch here yeah mm -hmm. um, i would say that the public art would i guess be here mm -hmm. we don't we don't want anybody going to the police station mm -hmm. yeah, just to visit and hang out take selfies yeah. <laughs> but, um, but when you just said the green trail you're yeah. talking about the green book trail the green the book trail. Trail. yeah, yeah. Okay. Green yeah. Trail. so i'm just going to add it just a to, part of like yeah. cultural zone yeah. Type. yeah we yeah. do though it's in it as it be um Mm -hmm. Yeah, have it. I, it almost needs to be added, like we're looking at the Green Crescent Trail. Right. Uh, the Green Book Trail. Uh, the Green Book Trail. Yeah. 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 Did okay. I say Green Crescent Trail? You, you guys, you did, I need, but, yeah. I need to go to bed. <laughs> <laughs> well, you've been through nine Yeah, nine states. Yeah, four days. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Absolutely. Okay, oh my gosh. so now where are we on this sheet? Mm -hmm. <laughs> well, first yeah. of all, I want to say, uh, can I clap? Yeah, yeah, I think so. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Fantastic Thank you. job, you yeah. guys. Mm -hmm. You did a fantastic mm -hmm. job. This mm -hmm. has been long overdue, yeah. and I think this is a amazing document. Mm -hmm. um, so, um, so with that, okay, uh, what I have left on our agenda really is is there any you know are, are there any assignments or action items that we need to work on from that from this uh, and, oh go ahead okay uh the other thing is um determining so this goes back to that hierarchy idea i had mm -hmm. like what's our first priority right. for long term or right. large scale what's our first you know priority right. for short term and that kind of thing so right. we have uh Two hours mm -hmm. actually mm -hmm. that we can right we're supposed to break at six right mm -hmm. is that my understanding Correct. okay so um we have two hours we could start mm -hmm. setting the priority and then at the end like we'll assign any kind of um 
you know, action, uh, action items okay. and work things we have to do. The one thing I would like to do also to get done today, and then I don't know if we have to vote on it in session or, or what, yeah. is go ahead and tag all the ones that we would like the city to hold for the art um, like commission RFP, to be in RFP charge it, of, yeah. to RFP it, so that it doesn't all of a sudden mm -hmm. come up that somebody says, oh, yeah, this group wanted to do something, so we said, okay, you could drop it right in the middle of Gateway. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I, right. I would like to go ahead and I identify that list mm -hmm. and get that, because I think it's one of the things Andy had mentioned, that we need to give the city council members yeah the plan of location and I think we need to tag the ones right away that are like we really want to control what goes in this yeah. park or this area so I would like to come come together with that list as well okay as we do our priorities so okay. I think we can based on the good information you gave yeah. us yeah um, personally I would go through and say all of them and I have these all <laughs> but I don't know if that's but I think we do need to come up with the top 10 yeah to say yeah. without a doubt the whoever the commission is at the time and city council need to be able to dictate the what's going in there and so exactly. we don't just have some i know that the branding mm -hmm. ones i definitely think you would want to mark those the ones that we were talking anything about anything like that would be branded Russell. by the city yeah yeah, the yeah and those stuff. kind of things the wall in front of the chamber of commerce mm -hmm. like those type of things and that of course mm -hmm. is not limited to that but that's just mm -hmm. what pops my head yeah 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 and I want to really lock down Gateway Park. I would hate for that to just get um, chopped up. Um, well, and I can tell you that there's already a veteran's memorial. Right. What's not to say yeah. that there's like five other memorials to pop up in there. Right. That's right. what I'm saying. Yeah. yeah. So, yeah. I feel like if we and could go ahead and tag it. Need to be there. Right. Well, it's perfect, we and we can work with it. We can expand it. Yeah. Or maybe we expand that section over there yeah. to more of our um, war veterans or to other historical mm -hmm. um, military actions in that area. It well, might become part it? of it. Like each of us rank well, and, and talk about it like, hey, the t what's your top? Ten. Well, like ten. we could. We could do it. Well, that what way. I was just going to say yeah. is that if we decide to put, we all have to. Well, this goes to priorities. Now mm -hmm. we got to start working mm -hmm. on priorities. If we decide to make that old, I mean, um, gateway a mm -hmm. priority, mm -hmm. then um, if we have, and then part of that priority uh, number one is lights and getting someone actually to put a design together right. for us. Mm -hmm. Then that those issues that you all are talking about will be resolved in right. that. Mm -hmm. So. I don't think we really need to spend much time talking about that until we decide what we want to do priority-wise. Okay, that's that fine. Uh, yeah, I'm just saying, but in the long term, if Gateway's not on our priority this year, I want to. I still want to have that. Mm -hmm. I want to present the parcels to I think City we Council. Move it to our priority for this year, and yeah. just get something moving towards it, mm -hmm. even if it is lanterns and twinkle mm -hmm. lights, mm -hmm. and maybe or just trimming up the, uh, trimming up trees so it's a little more visible. Watch an old movie together mm -hmm. in the uh -huh. Gateway Park, yeah. or come see Christmas lights mm -hmm. mm -hmm. in Golden Gateway Park. Mm -hmm. Something to let people know. Mm -hmm. Sorry about that. Yeah. I almost right. think it's oh, I'm Go ahead. just to let people know that it's yeah. there. Mm -hmm. So it's being moved up, and that's fine. That's perfect. Yeah. Okay. Okay. I think I'll let you lead on this. Yeah. Well, come on. in the five years is really, that's where we want to see something permanent. Yeah. So it's right. just like, right. it, and it definitely, I mean, we can move it up. And, um, and you'll notice that I have nothing in between two and five years mm -hmm. five years for mm -hmm. a reason. Because mm -hmm. this right here is an ambition a mm -hmm. ambitious list for oh, one and yeah. two. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So I'm giving us cushion. Right. To come up yeah. with more, so we're more funds, more grants. We're actually able to follow through. Mm -hmm. So you had a point. Well I was gonna say that I almost think we need another matrix or spreadsheet like this mm -hmm. because I think we need to talk about like what our vision is for each of those locations yeah. and take the I agree. the things that um, Meredith put together for us here and take those locations. So like I would say if we want Clemson Community Care, that mm -hmm. property to be a protective one, we'd say vision and you know, our the new new column would be the vision for this location and put what we want 
we and that's give our I think the Mary city council is on the sure. priorities. And then yeah. I think Nettles Park, like mm -hmm. Julie, to your point, Nettles Park could be multiple things going in there, like mm -hmm. um, you know, commissioned garbage cans mm -hmm. or benches mm -hmm. or artistic bike racks, but also mm -hmm. maybe some kind of sculptural placing mm -hmm. mm -hmm. that we list the things we want to like the pro the public art program we want to see mm -hmm. in each of these areas mm -hmm. and and then um you know so i think like shankland sam's park like what do we what would we envision in there i think we should pick the things that yeah. we we okay I well do we want to one start on and i agree one. with that strongly because it doesn't just look like we're gobbling up things. Right, yeah. It's here here's our thing. And this is yeah. what we're gonna do. This is a plan. One, two, right. three, four, five, six. It's really only seven locations if you look at the first page. You have two large I have th only three large. What do you have? Because I have I have on page one Clemson Community Care. That's a large mm -hmm. yeah. Oh I'm talking about locations. She's not oh, about okay. large. property. When I, okay, so when you were talking, though, you had said something about, like, that has multiple things in it. So well, if you say large, then you have multiple things in it. If you say small, it's probably, like, a single thing. I guess right now I'm just saying we should name the locations. Like, I would say Clemson Community Care was one that on there. Then Nettle Park. Park. Mm -hmm. And then... Gateway Shankland Park. Sam's Park. Mm -hmm. um, the Plaza on College Avenue in front of TV, TVs and Subway Plaza. Mm -hmm. Catherine Smith Park. JC Park. Gateway Park. Do you think the um, area in front of TVs should be part of the I, I don't know the branding the rebranding is yeah. coming, but yeah. should that be tagged as we recommend yeah. to be part of the rebranding? The walkway mm -hmm. over to the mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. parking deck, the yeah, bridge exactly. into the city. Right. Like mm -hmm. We have several places that right that need to be need to part be of the part branding of the they brand. could be artistic visions right but also have the branding that the, right. that the city's wanting to you put together you would think though that while they're doing rebranding mm -hmm. that whoever they hire to to put that project together is going to identify all the places where there should be rebranding well right. i think well, with our we but if we make them it, <laughs> yeah. Right. Yeah. Right. if we don't let anybody yeah do this, here we think yeah. that needs to Part, part of your rebranding and it yeah. needs to be artistic. And sometimes so I think, think we need to people, kind of give them that list too. Yeah, sometimes you think that people will think of things, but, but if they're, they're not as familiar, say they're not from here, they might not know. Think about it. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. And I think that we need to have one or two people from this committee on that rebranding whenever it happens. Yeah. yeah. I think you would be great at that, Meredith. Because <laughs> you're graphically. Right. And and Sue, if you don't have anything else, anything else to do, I don't know. Yeah, I think it's uh, yeah. I think as long as we have one hot yeah. body in there that mm -hmm. says, look, I you guys, I think you guys too. I think, well, Jennifer, I think you, with all of your abilities with calligraphy and your artistic bent, that would be a good one mm -hmm. because it it they need to have that in their brains as they're going through this. And as mm -hmm. Maya pointed out, you never know exactly what they're thinking. Their bigger picture might be. Yeah just the signage at, at you know mm -hmm. the crosswalks or something i don't know, right. you know when they're coming up with branding i'm i'm thinking larger scale mm -hmm. our branding on the overpass coming in should go right down to matching letterhead type thing i'm, yeah. I'm looking yeah. like very cohesive all the way through right yeah. street signs yeah. you know road signs you know city and hall signs all... have really Right. All the same fonts, the same, you know, something really clear cut. Great mm -hmm. logo. The about the, the Green Book mm -hmm. Trail, Green Book mm -hmm. Tour, um, trying to decide will it have uniqueness or will, there be, will it be consistent branding and will it be mm -hmm. tied in with the South Carolina Green Book? Yeah. Yeah. Gotcha. Mm -hmm. um, so those are, and those are points that help mm -hmm. people to know, you know, this is a unified mm -hmm. vision. Right. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So, So I think someone from our group really should help to. 
Leave well, the, I can tell you when mm -hmm. I was in the Catherine Smith Plaza and seeing like two different names and having this font over here and that font and that yeah. memorial and I was just like, oh, <laughs> yeah. I yeah. want, I just, yeah, graphically, I just want to read Right, you. there should Seven be a standard. Yeah. It's a standard whether it's a plaque on a bench yeah. or yeah. the poetry yeah. downtown or the, yeah. 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 I agree. I agree. Yeah. Um, especially if it's all of our locations. Yeah. <laughs> when you have multiple <laughs> signage and all, so it does get scrambled, yeah. yeah. And it just looks, um, it really elevates. Mm -hmm. Something like that really elevates the city to look like there was more right. thought. It's not just willy-nilly, it's really yeah. thought. I mean, I just, okay. I applaud Greenville and mm -hmm. everything that they've done, and yes, mm -hmm. they're bigger, and they're not just seven <laughs> miles of space, but no. I mean, there's just so much that we can point mm -hmm. to, so many different cities um, that have done. Well, and as we're doing these branding. things, because some of them have to be done from trash cans to stuff, but let's do them right, you know, yeah. if we're going to make new signs, let's make them the right signs, like, you know. It's so expensive yeah. to rebrand, too. I know. Involved with all that. Yeah, but as we're moving forward, oh, it is. Yeah, because if oh, we replace sure. things, we can put it in the new branding, and uh -huh. as they add things, it can all be in the new branding, and eventually it catches up. Yeah. As, um, so yeah. Got to start somewhere. Doing it right. Doing, doing it right. Yeah. And having even them having a conversation that excites me to know yeah. end that they are even thinking about that. Right. Because I look at some of the signs mm -hmm. and I look at that map that doesn't even look like downtown anymore. <laughs> right. Yeah. Like, what yeah. is that map? Yeah. Like, I, but I agree. This I'm is fully in your wheelhouse. Mm -hmm. Like, this is fully in your wheelhouse. Yeah. And, it is. and the, yeah. the partnerships and connections that will be gleaned from that will be immense, I think. Yeah. yeah. Okay, okay, so if tonight we're getting a little off, okay. I feel can like. I, okay. Can I throw out a, a, a suggestion? Sure. Mm -hmm. Okay. I just took what we talked about with the time frames that Meredith recommended, mm -hmm. and I guess I wanted to throw out some locations and see if everybody was in agreement on, I, there's nine locations mm -hmm. on, on this list. If we're in agreement to what Joan had mm -hmm. just asked for about like going to the city council and saying give them our vision. These mm -hmm. this is our this is the time frame, this is the vision. Mm -hmm. We're asking that these spaces be they that artists we want to hold these for requests for RFPs. We yes. want to generate the ideas and the vision for these right. spaces. For driving the RFPs. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Exactly. These locations. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And that's what the city has asked of us. I'm not just yeah. saying we need to do this. They have asked us to come up with a list, you know, a prioritized list and things. And I think in this point, we also need to say, and with this list, we're asking you to retain these as directed by this committee or yeah. this commission. Okay, so in this evening three, set priority is, mm -hmm. here's what I say. And you tell me if we want to approach it this way. Number one is to discuss the criteria for, for your priority setting. In other words, on um, short-term pro uh, projects, is this a quick win? Can this be yeah. easily yeah. implemented right. without mm -hmm. any major fundraising or community buy-in? Mm -hmm. Two under short-term, does it fit the criteria of our, our plan, public art plan? Three, does it fit into our existing budget allocation? Mm -hmm. And four, rank higher if it can be achieved in tandem with other projects, mm -hmm. example city benches. Then we go to long-term projects, long-term meaning multiple, mm -hmm. you know, activities. Same, same question. Um, oh, here are some other things that I point out. Um, does it have a high exposure factor mm -hmm. in the community to help promote it? Does it fit the prior criteria for our art plan? And does it have a high cost value ratio? I don't know. When I was writing this, I was just like, "Wow!" I, I look at this, back at this now, and I'm like, "What was I thinking when I wrote well, this?" Well, but I think <laughs> no. Actually, I think you've you've honed in on all yeah. of, uh, most of what Meredith has put in her column. Yeah, we're answering that. And, mm -hmm. and if we go forward, like Sue said, yeah, with putting the location and what our thoughts are, what are just you know throw out some brainstorming ideas for what we envision the art to be, and if it's going to be a long term project like yeah. that Gateway would be, yeah, or um, I think we're or it'll all come together. So I think yeah. you're thinking about that just right when you wrote it, that. Yeah, and then the fifth one in under long term projects are the commitment to raise funds to support the project. All right. So it may be for the first four criteria, right? But if, like for example, um, the uh, troll project, 
if people hate the idea, yeah. well, then it's pretty, it's like paddling upstream. Right. So, but that's why if we go ahead and announce those and right. get the commission to buy in on it, it allows the public to respond. All right. If they're like, no, I can't believe they're even thinking of doing gateway. And just that, that's just the trail project was not our project. Oh, it, it, it wasn't. Right. I take yeah. that right. It and wasn't. Can we pause a minute to take a, a nature break? Oh, yeah. Would that, can you pause yeah. the Zoom? Uh, Is everybody good with I'm that a, right now? For, I think it'll Is, be. I'm, I'm afraid to touch it. Okay. <laughs> okay. Is there anybody on there? Can we tell? I don't know. Record, it's not live. It's just recording. Oh, it's not live. Okay. So, I don't yeah. want to touch it after yeah. that. That's fine. So why don't we all just take a break? A five minutes? Yeah, five. Five or minutes? We can all call each yeah. other back together. Well, we can so, break at 4.30. I mean, come back at 4.30. Okay. Okay. Perfect. So is that going to work? <laughs> yeah. I was, this is what I was thinking. I didn't mean, want Meredith to and what we talked about. Right? Oh, yeah. so we yeah. if these are the locations we think are the top. Good, yeah. Then we get to the program. Like, and then we talked about garbage cans in 2022. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And maybe something else in Nettles Park, too. Like you were saying, large scale means to you multiple things mm -hmm. going on mm -hmm. with a plan. Like, yeah. Um, I would say like a play sculpture or somebody else said a, what was it, a splash pad. Um, you know, are these, are, are these, I see three locations for 2022. Um, you know, I think to me, I mean, I do agree with what Joan just said. We need to ask the city to, to so we can avoid the situation that happened with the end of the mural. Like, these are what we want to do our piece for. And other artists who come and say, I want to do something in Ashley Deering Park, they come to us, we say whether we like the idea, we tell the city council, and the city council decides whether they're going to do something in Ashley Deering Park, mm -hmm. because it's not on our list of our mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. We're still going to have to get approval from the city for some of these anyway. We are. So to me, yeah, I think the first step is or can in tandem with what you mentioned is locations and what's our vision mm -hmm, for mm -hmm. what projects do we want to do in there. Mm -hmm. Then we have to figure out the money piece. Yeah. I don't want us to, this is my two cents worth. I don't want us to be bounded by money. Mm -hmm. Right now we're brainstorming. Right. And then if we don't have the money, then we have to go back and pick again. We can only do these two things mm -hmm. right now. But next, and we're going to move this time back to two more years, mm -hmm. and and this becomes like a living, yeah, document. Yes, yes, yeah. So really, you're asking all those questions, except for, well, really, uh, there was no, there was no budgeting in short term, but long term there was the high cost value ratio. So. And I also think quick witness should be a big part of it too. The ones that we just in prioritizing, the ones that we know we can implement quickly. Sure. I mean, we could make a. Okay. <laughs> After listing all that, then we go in and say which of those ideas in there would fit best with first, second, third choices that we start implementing right away. Mm -hmm. So, yeah. Here really, I'm asking. Yeah, she did a great job in putting this together because a lot of this stuff is already in there. 
taste than what she put in. She did. So. Oh, it's okay. really popcorn. good. I yeah. love that popcorn. Oh, yeah. 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 Mm -hmm. I've tasted some bad. Uh, <laughs> yeah, that popcorn is really good. Yeah. It like. was requested by the kids. Oh, <laughs> wow. Oh, they like it too, huh? That's yeah, a good, yeah. A good request. <laughs> Bone chicka pop. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Good choice, Meredith. Where do you envision the going? In the park? Um, How can't that I guess. <laughs> yeah, yeah, no, it's not. Is, a hundred calories. Yeah. That's yeah. less than a bag and of potatoes. You get 50 trash cans. Mm. Um, we're going to give you 50. So um, then I would, I mean, I would definitely say like 1st party would be um, for sure. I'll probably regret the popcorn. Yeah. 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 Ye
Yeah. At one point, I don't know, are you guys still doing music lessons? Um, not right now. We were. Um, but I, I, again, I think maybe it's family yeah. that we're not. But, um, I, yeah, I do remember teaching a lot. And there would be, like, I would have to be like, okay, guys, just be a little bit quiet. Because, you know, next door, they're doing, like, violin lessons. Or they're doing, like, okay, clarinet lessons. We had violin lessons. Right. Ready to pull it back together? I, I, I would love to. I, I think yeah, we're probably going to end up doing that again. So. No problem. Yeah. Okay, guys, let's pull, let's get back on task right, here. We're going to get back to our meeting now. Yeah. We're four and minutes over. Keep moving. Yeah. Okay. Like Wonder Woman. Thank you. Okay. All right. So, should we start with short term projects? Sure. Yes. Well, since maybe that's actually the first thing to do is like clarify what our top ten are going to do. Top ten priorities. Okay. And is that what and the city is asking us for ten? Yes. Okay. Well, or well, or as that, many as our number. yeah, <laughs> the, yeah. Just, um. And then we'll we're going to prioritize those projects. Okay. And so she yeah. has actually started Somewhere. writing down all the projects that we talked about mm -hmm. um, in our discussion as the top. What do you think? Mm -hmm. Ten. I have ten locations. Yeah. And that. And then I had taken the time frames that Meredith recommended and put them on there. And then I, I guess like a vision for the locations, what we programming we want to do in those locations. Mm -hmm. So let's I, identify those. Okay. Mm -hmm. the, first, the, the locations I have are Clemson Community Care, mm -hmm. Nettles Park, yep. Shanklin Sam's Park, mm -hmm. the plaza in front of TDs and Subway. Mm -hmm. Catherine Smith Park, mm -hmm. Gateway Park, J.C. Park, Mary Abernathy Park, and that would get us to eight locations. Mm -hmm. um, and then if we had other ones, we I put the downtown area too. I think we should ask the city council to give us the or empower us with the responsibility of public art in the high visibility downtown area rather than anyone getting to come through and just say, I want to do this anywhere. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. That's my two cents for it. Okay. Yeah. So okay. that's nine locations. I don't know if those two yeah. think we should add any other. I'd like to, the, the Calvin Group Center, what's listed as the Art African American Museum, Mm -hmm. okay. Even though it may be earmarked later for like the mm -hmm. Green Book Trail, mm -hmm. yeah. um, I think it's important that that Calhoun Bridge, yeah, Calhoun Bridge Center, yeah. Okay. And also with what you guys were talking about with the Art Center and the um, African American Museum, how it's um, in between Gateway Park and um, the uh, community care, like yeah, I think that's. That would mm -hmm. be like a, a nice mm -hmm. local, like, mm -hmm. you know, mm -hmm. a trail. Right, mm -hmm. a magnet to bringing a, a people up there. Mm -hmm. Yeah. The yeah. Calhoun Bridge Center is another name for the, no, no, for the Art Center and the, uh, the African. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, so yeah. we'll just repeat what you just said, okay. and that yeah. covers yeah. all. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay. And, okay. Uh, oh. Okay. Yeah. Are, are we going to comment on what we <laughs> see there, or no? We'll just move on. I thought we would. D Make sure the time frames that we that we have, I transferred those appropriately. Yeah. That we saw that Meredith recommended mm -hmm. we think about something community care in 2022, something yep. there. Mm -hmm. Meredith recommended that we do something in year 2022 for Nettles Park. Mm -hmm. And then Shanklin Sam's was 2023. Plaza in front of TDs was 2023. Catherine Smith Park was 2023. And then Gateway, JC, Larry, Abernathy were. It's getting moved up, right? It's getting moved up, though, right? Move, Gateway yeah, Park. Yeah, yeah. Gateway. Gateway. That's where I think we need to identify yeah. uh, one large project as right. a priority one. Objective, then, maybe yeah. like key objective. Right. Here. So let's not put any timeline to anything mm -hmm. yet. Let's mm -hmm. just. All agree that those first nine mm -hmm. that we are is everybody in agreement? I am yeah. in agreement. I would like to add a tenth being 
we identify the branding areas for Clemson, the entryways and all that need to be branded so that that is positioned for the group that's working on rebranding the city. Because okay. I would like to identify those, Let's if say, not for us, for them. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So input in branding areas. I also yeah. think the city needs to be aware that we want to work on garbage cans. Well, that, yeah. Right. Uh, I, think that's I was about to go back to that, okay. yeah. I just mm -hmm. wanted to make sure mm -hmm. even, the, even the private owned buildings in the entourage store. Mm -hmm. Now, Lindsay was just saying that that is going to be a coffee it's, shop it's, possibly. I've heard, I've heard that it's, it's supposed to be like a coffee mm -hmm. slash. Mm -hmm. But they're mm -hmm. renting from no. the, the owner. Yeah. yeah. The owner. yeah. Yeah. Okay. And we'll All right. Well, and John but, uh, says yeah. she's going to check on that. Yeah. With I can. Andy and mm -hmm. Lindsay. But yeah. I mm -hmm. think we could also go to the them the and say, current owner. Yeah. We'd love to see a mural go mm -hmm. up and mm -hmm. help them with an RFP like mm -hmm. we like we did right. with with the, yeah yeah like we did with the dock side. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay, yeah. so I think to me that it's, to me it makes most sense for you just to start at the top, right? Okay? Go to the first location, and then mm -hmm. we start talking about what those things would be. Clemson okay. Community Care. Okay. What's our vision for that location? I will start with I see a large sculptural piece. Yeah. And that's very visible from the road. That also is kind of in the triangle of the corner of the road leading up to the art center and the cultural. Um, the African Culture Museum. And even though I've visited a lot of these places, mm -hmm. I don't know if I'm prepared to say this is what's going to go there. Mm -hmm. Like I still, like I have 25 mm -hmm. things that I've darted and tagged in here, mm -hmm. and I just I want to go back and like be in the spaces. Mm -hmm. Yeah, sure. I'm just throwing stuff out there. Yeah, I'm not yeah. saying this is what it would be. I'm just saying this is yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, these are my initial thoughts. Thing, they understand yeah, that initial thoughts. Pain, but you yeah. just, I mean, with yeah. anything, you just got something there. Mm -hmm. Something with some high I visibility. Mm -hmm. You would need to have an underlying meaning of community mm -hmm. behind the sculpture itself. Mm -hmm. Because mm -hmm. it is the art center of the African American Museum. Constant community here. Mm -hmm. It needs right. to that would go that. into the RFP. Uh -huh. You know, we yes. would put the theme and the request right, yeah. in there. But I'm just, I'm just yes. saying but something. Really, yeah. Sculpture. Yeah. Uh, and maybe not a sculpture. Maybe it's something completely yes. different. Can but something highly that? visible. Yeah. Right there that ties the two together. Yeah. And uh, in my idea, I mean, just because that road is not the busiest road right. going up, that would be a great place for one of those giant roadways. Five. Art projects like you know the Black Lives Matter did the mural across the, sh the downtown street that went for a block, mm -hmm. or your type where the asphalt looks like it's buckled in and there's a whole community of some something like that leading like up the road up. would pull people yeah. up right. and make that. Mm -hmm. I'm just spitballing. No. I'm just throwing things out there. Great. Yeah, but I do great. think that would lead people up right. to mm -hmm. say, hey, what else is up here? Well, and that is something that we would get more into detail about once we decided we're right. ready to implement mm -hmm. that. So mm -hmm. then we would talk more in yeah. more depth. Exactly. I'm just typing all this up yeah. for notes, and then, yeah. Joan, if I mm -hmm. could send it to you, then you yeah. could send it out. Okay. So Can you talk to those really thoughts, though, that you just had about the sense of community? Yeah. 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 So it's not lost. Yeah. I, I typed that in, I typed that in there. Thank right. High visibility. I think high visibility. Okay. Yeah. yeah. All right. So, anything more on that? Mm -hmm. No. Okay. I'm. In, I'm on. We'll we'll talk priority <laughs> next. Okay. And, and I uh, think what Meredith said is a great point. Like that could be some of our homework to go mm -hmm. and look at those spaces mm -hmm. and imagine ourselves. The next one is Nettles Park, and I did. I'll confess, I put garbage cans, play sculpture, right. splash pad in there because I'd heard those things mm -hmm. during the meeting. Yeah. yeah. Uh, okay. And there was some. That, who was talking about possible water feature? Yeah, well, yeah. The splash pad. Splash pad to water. Yeah. Water with artistic yeah. water. Yeah. Like, yeah. With artistic like things with because we yeah. were talking about the fact that it's just not about the, the water mm -hmm. in a splash pad mm -hmm. thing. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I found Anderson. They just put some in. Yes, it's beautiful. Mm -hmm. It's beautiful. Yeah. Something to look at. Kind of, mm -hmm. Really? Okay. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's good to know. That is yeah. good to know. I just kind of think like with the splash pad or water feature, since we're out in nature, it just mm -hmm. kind of makes me think of like impressionalism and things like that. So mm -hmm. I don't know if that's something that maybe we could lean towards, like, you know, just 
you know, being out in nature. Uh -huh. That kind of aspect, mm -hmm. you know, colors, mm -hmm. flowers, you know, things like that. Mm -hmm. Look yeah. at examples. And yeah. Yeah. And, or even like that on um, a garbage can or something. Mm -hmm. you know? uh -huh. Just kind of that idea. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. I need to go back since I'm on camera and video. Like, I, I think Trail did that work. If that's yeah. the case, that we have that somebody who's got some experience in that. I don't want to take anyone's yeah. Yeah. away from them. Yeah, so, yeah. yeah. right. Yeah. 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 That's not yeah. factual. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> okay. Well, okay. On the you know, short term, I would say trash cans was one of our first big wins, and uh -huh. I think that mm -hmm. applies to almost everywhere, because I definitely think Nettles Park, we could redo some of what's there. It might be the last on the list, but mm -hmm. Shanklin needs them. <laughs> that doesn't have it. TDs is a, a very um, visible spot in downtown, so if we could do some consistent with okay. the what's in Shanklin. Um, the Catherine Smith, the JC, and Abernathy. I put garbage cans. Yeah, all of, so all of that. And Gateway, we know, needs some. Mm -hmm. um, so I think that's a quick win that goes under every category. Mm -hmm. yeah. um, and we could, you know, get a RFP on that or get, you right, know, right, yeah. whatever. Well, that's well we're not, let's not talk to Okay, anybody. gotcha. Okay, <laughs> okay, never mind. Next one. Okay. The next one is Shanklin Sam's yeah. Park. I see benches and trash cans. It's an immediate... I see something almost like a like a sculpture, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. also used as seating. Ah, well, like so, mosaic seating, you yes, know, like mosaic I benches. See something yeah. that is art, but also functional. functional. Yeah, functional art. art. Yes, benches. Mm -hmm. yes. sculptural benches, or Not something. Not just yeah. typical benches. Mm -hmm. um, like I was, yeah. I was speaking of Gaudi. Yeah, I yeah. love that. Yeah, those, yeah. Those benches in Barcelona. Car yeah, Barcelona. Yeah, yeah. 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 They do a lot of benches. He's got lots of yeah. them. All kinds. Of um, and they can also be mosaics that tell a story. Right. Oh, they got it. G A G U D Y C I. I think it's important that we don't yeah. lose yeah. all the grassy area there. Too. Right. Oh no no no. Yeah, yeah I'm just talking perimeter. Yeah. yeah perimeter benches and mm -hmm. I like the idea of like um, the mosaic and like yeah. telling a story you yeah know, and, I like that yeah. idea uh, and it could be you do some mosaic benches in several locations that ties together like mm -hmm. you have scene one and two and then Nettles has scene four and five or something mm -hmm. right um okay. just as a you know again tying together huh? I mean, it just kind of reminds me also of like in downtown Greenville, like hunting the mice. Yeah, yeah, I you love know? that idea. Yeah, yeah, you know, and like have it be a scavenger hunt mm -hmm. of some sort. Mm -hmm. you know? Yeah. Okay. <clears throat> I think that thing keeps coming up. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. definitely keeps so coming up too. Right, mm -hmm. right. The next, um, okay, let me make sure I got this. I, I heard garbage cans, mm -hmm. benches, sculptural pieces. Sculptural piece that could be used as benches. Mm -hmm. Gaudi is an example. Mm -hmm. Mosaic benches that could tell a story across multiple locations. Mm -hmm. Okay. The plaza in front of TDs and Subway. Yes. Yeah, I think that needs to come under our branding. That that part of the, right. or at least the wall, because it's it would be in response to university signage across the street, identifying mm -hmm. that as Clemson University. I think. Our wall there needs to identify the welcoming into the city of Clemson. I don't know if you've seen some of Gaudi's bench type things, but those are some of the mosaic benches that you see in Spain. Yeah, yeah. this yeah. is nice. Mm -hmm. They're pretty Six incredible. <laughs> well, it depends on the craftsman. Yeah, right. <laughs> no, I love it. Yeah, oh, I love it. Yeah. It's so good because you can do stories for it and so yeah. forth. Yeah, I think and it may be I like grant, maybe you know, maybe possible through grant. The one through through me about downtown Clemson mm -hmm. is, is there's not a lot of gathering yeah. space down there, mm -hmm. right? Okay. So yeah. any pla any opportunity we have yeah. downtown, you know, and that could go places places to start. right? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Right. Um, I think. That. Mm -hmm. So yeah, so and maybe so. again a gallery style bench coming off of that wall, mm -hmm. so you can sit in front of a wall, and again another. Another photo mm -hmm. of um, a place yeah. to sit and watch. Mm -hmm. I agree. Because I mean, cause crosswalk the there yeah. is coming from all directions. Right. It is a wonderful spot to people watch. Right. If you've yeah. ever sat on it that patio oh, yeah. in front of subway, it's you see so many and people you know and 
you know, within minutes, minutes, you'll see somebody you know. And it, you know what? It may look more expensive than it is, which is a plus. Right? Yeah, right. Yeah. Yeah. That's awesome. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But, good. Um, good, good, good. Mm -hmm. Anything uh, Anything more on that one? I have a quick question. Okay. Um, you know, the, the work and everything that we have people creating, are we um, in charge of, like, upkeep and, you know, with like you know, if there's any damage the or city the city is uh -huh. okay. Mm -hmm. I was just okay. curious. That's a good thing to bring up, though. Oh, yeah, um, right? I, yeah. I was going to wait until this conversation mm -hmm. is over to say we a part of our homework needs to be identifying potential our artwork that has already existed, mm -hmm. okay. mm -hmm. um, so we can have it cataloged and on our inventory. And then what is who keeps that up and you know. When does that happen? Right. And is that fall underneath Schedule. us? Yeah. Um, to like check all of those properties. The plan maintenance. I can't yeah. answer that one question. Mm -hmm. I can answer it in a small part. Yeah. Um, in the public art plan, we talk about anything that we commission. Mm -hmm. We have we build in some maintenance costs in okay. there. Okay. Okay. But, you know, I, it does concern me, it, for example, like with Abernathy Park, it, mm -hmm. it was so pretty when it was first mm -hmm. opened, and mm -hmm. it's kind of been neglected a little bit, and that does, that's not good. You're better off not having anything mm -hmm. to me than mm -hmm. having something that looks like it's been neglected. Mm -hmm. right. yeah. yeah, so. Um, but it's been updated recently. I know yeah. there was a big group that came out to rebuild to rebuild mm -hmm. the areas that were at it. Yeah. Yeah. restaurant yeah. provided lunch and it was a big yeah. community mm -hmm. effort. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And I think that's what we need to do is kind of do a little bit of that take back your art or take back your park. Mm -hmm. yeah. Um because one of the things for Abernathy to me that looks so frumpy is again the landscape. I feel like mm -hmm. it's gotten so overgrown and weedy mm -hmm. and it's um that's that's part of my maintenance, I think. Um, but putting in the new poetry plaques that are supposed to be there, and again the trash cans, I think it'll lend itself better. But that whole street has just been neglected mm -hmm. because of, you know, all that's happening. Of course, there's lots of construction going on now. But I definitely feel like to bring it back around wouldn't be that hard. And by adding again sewer manhole covers, if we do mm -hmm. that area, and better trash cans, more trash cans, and getting the art pulled back up. I believe that area is on city cameras, so okay. it should be maintained, and if not, it's definitely something we would need to recommend yeah. as a whole new apartment yeah. complex, complex comes yeah. in right there. It's going to have much higher use at night, and so I think they need to keep a better, and probably keep a watch on it for vandalism. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Is there an initiative that friends of the, of the park type thing that's going on? I don't think we have one right now. Are there people, I, I thought I saw something like that on the, the city website. Well, that was there was something on um, the neighborhood website about helping clean up on Wigington, the, right. little, the little triangles and all, and I think that was just a neighborhood initiative. Okay. So it could be something like that. But, um, I, again, I think it's a maintenance issue. We it, have to keep the city aware. And if they're concerning. not looking for yeah. it, we have to point it out. Yeah, because the more we make people connect with their environment around mm -hmm. them, the more obvious it's going to be yeah, <laughs> that right. either things yeah. are well maintained yeah, or not well maintained. Right. Yeah. And they have to be, I think, mm -hmm. really aware of the fact that that responsibility is going to increase as more, mm -hmm. of, this, mm -hmm. more of these things mm -hmm. are put in place. Mm -hmm. but, mm -hmm. yeah. but we probably can is that yes? Yeah, yeah, that does. Thank okay. you. All right. Okay. The next one is Catherine Smith Park. Um, mm -hmm. I have garbage cans there. Manhole covers, if, if those make the list. Mm -hmm. And somebody said that they were already working on replacing benches. I don't know about um, replacing the benches. Oh, the benches need the ones that are stolen. I I say the ones that have it's a bistro ta table with mm -hmm. four chairs. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Those need to be rethought. Mm -hmm. You could you could purchase something that had a table with four chairs connected that right. so you can't mm -hmm. pick up right. Right. Yeah. and steal. Right. right. So that's just and but that's not our area. That's in our that's part of the rest area. That's right. But if they make but we can yeah an artistic right. and yeah. that's that's where we can come in on that. We, we can, can find some look at this one. Yeah. yeah. We know you need to put something out here. Here's what we recommend. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. yeah. 
Okay. Like garbage can, manhole covers, lighting, sculpture garden. Mm -hmm. I would like to. Are, are we back to talking priorities now, or what? I've, our no, vision for it. Okay, so our we're vision. Just, we're just going to talk yeah. about vision. Okay, yeah. so my vision that eventually that will be the Clemson Sculpture Garden. Yes. Like we will have a full walk around perimeter promenade through some amazing sculpture and it could be rotating we could have some pieces bronze pieces whatever made that are going to be a, a full time it's going there in perpetuity right. and then we have smaller pieces that move out that move in and out every yeah. 10 years or 5 years right um based on a theme that we put out an RFP on yep but i see that as a whole walking art um Tour, or, tour yeah. garden, yeah. you know, just the, that the secret art garden in Clemson that needs not to be a secret anymore. Right. I also see mm -hmm. architectural elements in there. Yes. Yeah. For example, a bridge could be built across. that goes across that retention pond. Mm -hmm. Would you um, say this is where we would pull in the idea that was presented to us? Like, why isn't why aren't we working with the School of Architecture? Oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> you know, right. Yeah. 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 That would be perfect, mm -hmm. wouldn't it? Mm -hmm. I mean, that... that I, and I even PRTM. Yeah. Even PRTM had yeah. class that I took years ago in, uh, I think it was ecotourism, where we we redesigned a Duke Power, a uh, Duke, um, Duke Energy Park over on Kiwi. Mm -hmm. um, and we came up with all of the new trash cans, the lighting, the bathhouses, the um and it's there. They use that plan, you know, and it was a it's a PRTM class that put all that together and found the different components and you know, lights that could be run by sunshine and you know, those right. type of things. What about, and also yeah. landscape design. I mean if you right. wanted There's those lots I, of utilities. Yeah, I'm there. thinking out there but you could take, you know, just extending this idea of mm -hmm. the retention pond and mm -hmm. making it a Japanese garden, getting the landscape design people mm -hmm. involved in mm -hmm. designing that. And maybe that. get and a survey class. Garden or yeah. Like that. yeah, I love yeah. that idea. Get a survey yeah. class out there to, yeah. to designate where the different pads should be so right. that they're equally spread around the park and given good proximity mm -hmm. so that each, each art feature we bring in will have its own um, equal location and so forth. I mean, there's lots of ways we can bring people in on that, but I really hope to see that one day, and personally, as the crown jewel of yeah. Clemson. That, like, and that is the art sculpture garden. It is. It's perfect. Mm -hmm. right. It's so perfect. And just to facilitate that, yeah. um, of course, because like, we know that that is, that's a lo longer term goal, like mm -hmm. you're starting with yeah. doing this other thing. Yeah. Getting it on those instructors' radar so they can write it up, put in their curriculum mm -hmm. for that semester, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and then mm -hmm. you know that can happen. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and and for Gateway immediately, I see that in this first year and two is is the trash cans, and if we can get if there's Unlighting. places to put sewer lids out, go ahead and get those in there. So again, it gets people looking into that park if mm -hmm. they're looking for the different artistic sewer lids or you know needing to do a good walk. Mm -hmm. um, I like the idea of the lighting, the lighting getting some lighting immediate lighting. use. I, I think yeah. we could put an RFQ out there for a lighting professional yeah. or a company. Right. Um, it could even do. be a temporary project. Well, yeah, absolutely. It could and, be, and it could be once scout. Get our I mean, final, it's something that they yeah. do, a big scout project Yeah, or and so once they get their final plan, once mm -hmm. we get the final mm -hmm. plan for how we want it to look, then mm -hmm. we put maybe something in more mm -hmm. yeah, okay. permanent. Yeah, but something that immediately is attracting people into that park, because yeah. I think yeah. the more people that come into that park, the more they're going to think, wow, I didn't know it was here. It's a great walking path. It's it a is. good, um, there's good parking, you know, in the evening. Oh, that's it's the a other great thing. place. Parking. Yeah. It's so good. It's, um, it's right off the Crescent Trail. It's yeah. off all the different sidewalks and bike paths. It makes me think about there's a location you guys helped me. I know you're way more well traveled. Mm -hmm. Where they have the umbrellas that hang upside down, like a mm -hmm. sculpture like um, that. Yeah, like yeah. Kind of going, it makes oh, sense. Oh, coming in under the trees. Yeah. You, know, yeah. you could do all kinds of things yeah. with that. And I think that could be a first year win. Yeah. Well, and, and start I, promoting that location. And I think the other first years, without getting the priority, mm -hmm. the first thing, other thing that you've gone on that list is uh, putting an RFP out for a um, uh, art or public art or sculptural garden design. Yep. And. Mm -hmm. 
for that location. Yeah, yeah. for that location. Mm -hmm. I need us to go back to Nettles for a Nettles, minute. sure. Um, so I've been texting with Bob Brookover <laughs> because I just wanted to see where they are on their splash pad mm -hmm. lots and we make plans there. to try to go in and say, we think this is a great idea, we yeah. want to be involved. They're not, that's not the plan, it doesn't sound like. Yeah. Oh. There's not... There's a splash pad in the Clemson Park plan. Mm -hmm. Oh, so, yeah, where the great part of the trail comes through, right mm -hmm. behind oh, the university. Okay. That's, he said right behind the Methodist Church. Mm -hmm. They like the idea yeah. of having one in Clemson mm -hmm. Park because it would be a big draw to get people to use that park. Right. And they would use the Crescent Trail. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So that, oh, okay. that's yeah, the fun. focus yeah. where okay. that's going. So I think we need to revisit Nettles and right. our thoughts because maybe that needs to be moved down on the list until yeah. we see what the city is thinking about. Well, we could ask the city mm -hmm. if we can be a part of the decision making for the Clemson yeah. Yeah. part. I think yeah. that's yeah. Flash pad. Well, if they I, would like input, it sounds like they've got somebody that's already drawing that up. So. Okay. The, the plans Nettles. for Nettles? Right here. And Clemson Park. Oh, yeah. For Clemson Park, I don't think it's on paper yet. Okay. So okay, let's see. Nettles. So, mm -hmm. And this is definitely more sports complex. Now, I would recommend to the Park Service that if they don't do any kind of splash pot or something, just an area where they have the string of the misters, like people use at restaurants, uh -huh. for those yeah. really hot days. Right. I mean, that, you can't yeah. you see the toddlers all just playing in the yeah. mist and mm -hmm. cooling off and the parents. You know, but bigger than that, I mean, there's still a lot of green space in there that could lend itself to. Yeah. Um, I think this is the whole big thing. Our, maybe miss, Mr. Zog by the playground area? Yeah. Yeah. Would that something. Rub, yeah, yeah, that's something. Maybe what should be said about that is that maybe a future long-term plan for public mm -hmm. art um, is going to be, rec we're recommending that, mm -hmm. but it's just not going to be our first, it's not going to be number one priority. Because to me, you could do the same thing like you're doing with, with the Gateway mm -hmm. project, and you could systematically put pieces of something in there. Up through those yeah. upper trails would yeah. be cool as they add on to the upper level. Yeah. Have y'all walked out there? Has anybody, um, the new land that's been acquired at Nettles, it's uh -huh. back behind the soccer fields, yeah. it's all high elevation. Mm -hmm. And at the top of it, there is an amazing view looking back to Clemson. Yeah. Like it's probably the highest peak in the city. It if needs that's to be a city. pavilion. And it should be up there. there. Yeah. Pavilion uh, there. So I think they're like a wedding facility yeah. or a right. party, mm -hmm. like a, right? Just an event pavilion, mm -hmm. yeah. That, yeah. That you could rent out, mm -hmm. right? That you could man, yeah. 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 Anyway, it just. Uh, but I do you think leading up to the, those locations, there could be all kinds of arts and art trails and some. So to so to me, if we're using the large and small projects, that to me actually, in my opinion, would be a large scale that's project. That's very large to project. do right. Yeah. Is Clemson Park, do they have bathrooms? I can't remember. It they used to. They do. They need to update them. <laughs> yeah, I was about to say, I don't know do. if they're even open. They need to update yeah. them. They're, okay. they're a little... Are they open? Scary right now. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. That's yeah. the only thing about, like, if you're putting water, you need a place to change your clothes. Mm -hmm. Yeah. They're going to have to do well, a facelift of that entire park. Uh -huh. If they're working, but that's got to be a plan. Right. It is. I believe they're going to have a plan. Yeah. Or enhance yeah. cleaning. You know, cleaning too. But, but yeah. I don't think necessarily, unless you're doing huge water features, you have, have to have. Eight minutes. Okay. Oh, yeah. You have to check and we have one more location. Okay. To talk about. What, what I think the one thing I would say about Nettles to sum mm -hmm. it all up is that. I think this is another one of those things that is like gateway. It has mm -hmm. a lot of potential. Um, but what's different about this than the other is that the parks and rec people are going to be in this. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. what I would say in our plan mm -hmm. is that when the opportunity arises to do large-scale type of activities in Nettle, we would like to be involved to give input on possible locations right. for art. So that way, that opportunity doesn't open and close, mm -hmm. and we're not part of it. We didn't even know about yeah. it. Right. Can you put that on all there? <laughs> and like, I, and I'm not really even thinking about like the little, the coverage area, pavilion kind of spot with the picnic tables and stuff like that. That might be an area that could be upgraded with lights or, or yeah, things. Right, yeah. right. 
Yeah. And I just want to say on record, Nettles is the largest park and it is the most visited. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Period. I think it is a gift that we are even considering Gateway Park mm -hmm. um, to the city because there's just no traffic there. Mm -hmm. Right. So. Well, I'm this is why we need to, though. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Because honestly, People don't want to walk there because it's scary. And I think it would take very little to not make it scary. I think so, too. And I think it would also be a better opportunity where it's located for businesses to benefit from it as well. And it's the center of the city. Yeah. Yeah. Like yeah. I said, this is really a big gift. Yeah. Like we are doing. Well, I don't see it as a gift. I see it as what the city needs. I mean, it's yeah. not a gift. It's what it needs. The city needs art, and that is a central location to place art. I understand that we have more people that visit Nettles every day, but honestly, They're already there. back in the day, I visited all the time because I had kids in soccer or taken a tennis lesson or something. I haven't been there in years except to go explore the new parcel. Mm -hmm. um, so that's not a draw for me, whereas... Right. The Gateway Park is close. It's not, you know, so to go have dinner and then decide to go take a stroll, mm -hmm. um, that'd be a great place because I know I'd have room to park. I can get out and it's it's right nearby. It's peaceful. Um, it's something to do. And it's, well, so I don't think it's nice. as a gift. I do think it as a, as we we have been charged to do a job for Clemson, which is bring art. And I feel like that's a perfect location to really make a big impact long term right. as we continue on short impact. But I think in the end, you know, I hope within 20 years we have a full park of art there and we've got to start somewhere. And it's different yeah. than having the opportunity to see some art while you're sitting at Nettles right. for a soccer game. And, that's the, and the other thing is really, as far as true ownership is concerned, mm -hmm. Parks and Rec perceives Nettles as being there, mm -hmm, whereas, mm -hmm. and I'm not trying to, it's more yeah. like, when I mean ownership, like, and there's space you know, mm -hmm. care about that space, mm -hmm. whereas that, this other space mm -hmm. yes. mm -hmm. needs some care, and, mm -hmm. you know. Well, and I, I, I definitely threw it out there that I was like, I want that to be an adult thing. Mm -hmm. like you could bring children, but adults are going to want mm -hmm. that as a date night right. in the area. But I could also so, see it as a place moms meet in the morning to stroll the babies after they've dropped kids at preschool or kindergarten or whatever, mm -hmm. or that's the place they stop to walk their dog after they've dropped everybody off. I mean, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. it's one of the things when I first moved up to North Carolina, mm -hmm. I would drive my son to school, I'd have the dog in the car, I went to Ronaldo, Ronaldo Village to the pathways and the art that was out along in front of Ronaldo Mansion. And there's mm -hmm. a beautiful walk through the woods, and it was amazing the people out there in the morning, the runners, the, pe the ladies with babies, mm -hmm. the people with dogs. I met lots of people in the mornings there, and it was just kind of the routine. It was a nice place to stop. You knew you could park. Yeah, and you get your walk in before you, then you move on with your day. Well, I envision even like art shows down mm -hmm. there. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, so you've you got can, the land for yeah. it. Yeah. Yeah. So. All right. Okay. See you. Okay. <laughs> Next is JC Park. Mm -hmm. And I have garbage cans. And limbing up, I, I feel like it needs a landscape um, pruning, a, a visual pruning. Um, it's got be it's beautifully landscaped, but now it's overgrown. We so need some pressure washing as well. Mm -hmm. the, yeah. the tarp over the uh -huh. stage mm -hmm. area. Yeah. yeah, and I feel like a, an entry of, an entry okay. off of Edgewood and College Avenue right there, of some sort of structure yeah. or signage or painted sidewalk leading down, yeah. something to pull interest. In. Mm -hmm. yeah. To connect it um, yeah, to Abernathy is yeah. imperative to that park yeah. because again, yeah. it's one that's um, right. Not everybody knows about it because right. you really don't see it. So mm -hmm. it's almost like you have to, as a new mom moving to the area, somebody would have to say, "Oh, meet oh, yes. me at this, there. and here's yeah. how you get there, or here's yes. where you can park to get there." So, um, so you have down already. She said, you know, the, the landscaping, lemming, lemming it up. And trash cans. And the trash cans, the twinkle lights. I know we talked about mm -hmm. that earlier. Um, and then I know you're talking about an arch possibility. Yeah, on the entry, you know, some yeah. structural. Yeah. Yeah. Like the bridge, or somebody had a picture of the bridge 
yeah. crossing yeah. over um, in Greenville, crossing over the, is it a Reedy? The, from the Hampton yeah. Inn mm -hmm. side yeah. to the Peace Center side. Mm -hmm. You know how that bridge has cool structural well, it does. sculpture like at poles. both ends. They're like poles yeah. with really, art on the yeah, 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 really cool. Like yeah. Yeah. yeah, they're just yeah. structural. You can follow. Fun. Well, you can well, totally. You, I mean, if you look at um, Core Campus that they're now calling McAllister Hall. Yeah, the the, the disc on the poles. Yeah, yeah. trees. Yeah, that that's kind of the. That's, that's what idea. we were kind of talking about. Yeah. We, we like the Chihuly kind of idea. Yeah, exactly. Like, mm -hmm. Right. Chihuly at night. Oh my gosh, it's so cool. Yeah. It is beautiful. Um, but something like that at the entrance, I think, would really. And then again, some good signage, the branding part that leads on to Abernathy, because mm -hmm. I don't think a lot of people in JC Park realize that sidewalk mm -hmm. will guide them right on to the next park. So you've got Catherine Smith, JC, and Abernathy yes. all in one, one mm -hmm. little area. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That is true. Yeah. True. But, um, yeah. Yeah, so I, I see that as a. I like the ground mural idea. I do too. I like yeah. the ground mural idea, mm -hmm. you know. Anyway, okay, okay, so you got mm -hmm. that. Um, this, there was something like the trees at McAllister on campus. McAllister Hall, um, and then you can put in parentheses, is that right, or quote? No, parentheses, uh, core campus. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And then um, we said ground mural. Ground space. mural. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Is it that, yeah. Yeah, that, that. that. And phonetics. She has signage, yeah, 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 just signage. Again, the point people because you make on me think two, about that. Yeah. On two Abernathy. Huge green sign that probably covers the entrance now <laughs> to the park. So there is a JC Park and it is large. Um, but it's almost like JC Park, okay, where is it? Yeah, know, yeah, it's yeah. in that hole. Right. Yeah. yeah. Again, the so, well the lead I, in. Mm -hmm. And maybe the other thing is, I know we're not thinking completely out of the box on this one. I'm thinking to myself, wait a minute, there's a stage there. Should yeah. we be allocating money at some point to encouraging like an like a year long like mm -hmm. grant mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. for mm -hmm. artists to play down there yeah. or perform or whatever? Mm -hmm. Yeah. So there's an example of something that doesn't even it's not even permanent, but it's something mm -hmm. that yeah. could help. Mm -hmm. A lot of times people set up a stage next to the fountain. Yeah, there is that, a stage there. And that other stage is not used yeah. as much. Mm -hmm. Is there a reason it? why? Have you noticed? It's not really visibility. Stage I mean, more than a concrete slab. <laughs> oh, okay. So, I mean, it's like a ten by ten. It's almost like a tailgating tent. Yeah. Mm -hmm. They did it's not. Supposed break. to be like a child stage. No, it was. A, I think it was built for staging like for a podium or a single guitarist or whatever and they've okay. put a tent up over it before but there have been performers just not large performances right. but um, we have had guitarists yeah. up there and all yeah um you know and maybe it's one of those things where you do uh you know two different ones you know a guy over here in the jc park doing more kid type music mm -hmm. and then the more you know adult music on this end or something yeah and you can stroll between the two or something but yeah, I know Spartanburg does have through the Chapman Cultural Center. They have, they pay for buskers, um, and I think it's a hundred bucks an hour or something that you get on their list, and they use so many buskers every week on different corners, and they pay the city pays them to play guitar on this particular corner, or I believe every Sunday afternoon they have somebody really? playing. Yeah, yeah they have Isn't somebody cool? playing in. Um, cool. At the Chapman know. Cultural Center outside, I think every yeah. Sunday they have that. <laughs> yeah. they but I do. I think they've got. There. I just think that's really neat, you know, to be paying. Yeah. Paying some of our local street artists, artists, the street artists, yeah. to go do something. I mean, even if it's chalk art or something in JC Park one day. If you, you want to create an art vibe, you have yeah. to oh, do those things. Yeah. yeah. And yeah. I think awesome. that would be so easy, yeah. you know. What's okay. the one in Greenville that? It's Free. It's is it Shakespeare? Yeah, sorry. Yeah, yeah, Shakespeare. Yeah. Yeah. So it's not kind of like you guys are making mistakes. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. You could do free stuff shows mm -hmm. for yeah. Liz, yeah. or you could do like pinpoint seasonal shows, mm -hmm. like trying to get a bigger draw and mm -hmm. audience. Mm -hmm. um, so both of those thoughts are kind of going mm -hmm. through. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And yeah. I love that idea of a movie night where mm -hmm. a screen is mm -hmm. set mm -hmm. up. Yeah. Um, I don't know if that park is maybe the could hold us up the size, but it does have that playground where it's children don't 
want to mm-hmm. watch the movie mm-hmm. and just go play. But, mm-hmm. um, you know, that idea would, well, really in any of these bigger parks would be a good place. Yeah. Yeah. would be a good place for Well, you know what it made me think about was um, Nettles again. Mm-hmm. Going back to Nettles is up mm-hmm. on that top hill. Oh, yeah. Putting mm-hmm. an amphitheater up there. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Next to the pavilion. Amazing. Next yeah. to the pavilion. <laughs> yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah. Well, think so about the largest space we have, yeah. have right? Could that hold an amphitheater? I mean, the which one? The that new property because you walked up oh, there. Oh yeah, it's not, I mean we're talking about like seventy eight acres. Oh, okay, so I mean, that would yeah, be perfect for an amphitheater yeah. and nettles. Do they yeah. already have ideas for that area? Clear ideas? I don't think or so. I mean I think yes. it's just top it's right good now. To know. I mean I think yeah. this obviously this map has got some identifying things. Yeah. Um, yeah, I have no idea. Yeah. Because mm-hmm. um, we okay. really do not, we have very little space, like, mm-hmm. in central part of the city for those kind of stuff. Uh-huh. Yeah. But that would be, did you add that to Nuttall? <laughs> infrastructure <laughs> group? Build an amphitheater. <laughs> <laughs> that wouldn't be the Public Art Commission paying for that. I can put it as a recommendation. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Because the city would have to pay for that, and then we could yeah. pay for performing arts yeah. events. Yeah, there. recommending okay. a theater. Nice. Okay, uh, where are we now? We are at this number. We are on Larry Abernathy Park. Okay. okay. That needs to be spruced up. Yeah. What um, does that need to be? Spruced up. We've got to get those poetry plaques yeah. back in place. Yeah. We need to get the trash cans out there. Mm-hmm. Um, more, I think. Nice. Um, like, nice. nice. I nice actually trash. think uniform, trash can. uniform yeah. but I also think in that location going forward, on the end of the park closest towards JC Park and the new apartment complex, mm-hmm. we almost need to look at large bin type, you know, like with the recycled cans, because right. I think you're going to have a lot of cans and yeah. bottles and I mean, I it think you could fill. It's just such a house size. You just have to see. Yeah, but I was just saying if we could create. Like, I don't even know what's going on. There. If yeah. we could create, because trash is going to be a major issue when those apartments are done. Um, well, and if we consider any type of mm-hmm. public art besides garbage cans or mm-hmm. um, the poetry, manhole. I would oh. say um, anything that we did in J.C. Park, like the entrance with the trees mm-hmm. or mm-hmm. whatever. Um, or we could kind of carry that over. Mm-hmm. Yeah, absolutely, like, yeah. absolutely pull yeah. it over. Yeah. So I was looking yesterday, and I had not even noticed, but the little um, pavilion house, amphitheater, whatever, or it's not amphitheater, the little party house. Uh-huh, that, yeah. It is named. And it's got yeah, yeah it, sure. it does. You really don't see it, though, it's because it's you. black, and it also there. got... Lots of vines almost oh. covering it now. So Does again, it really? I, what, that's what I noticed yesterday. I just yeah. glanced at it, and I'm like, I never even knew that had a name on it. You also, um, you guys also mentioned the lighting as well yeah. there. Mm-hmm. Lighting and sidewalk yeah. art, mm-hmm. I heard yeah. you guys mention yeah. there. Mm-hmm. I think even that, that space, that little... Party pavilion. pavilion. Yes, it's, it could be so yeah. beautiful. Yeah, I think so too. It's very overgrown right now. And very, very underutilized, very, I think. Yeah. Okay. The, it's dark. Know, the solar power light. Mm-hmm. Right. Yeah. Mm-hmm. It's dark. That's, it's yes, very there are, dark. It's very dark. Mm-hmm. I think mm-hmm. some lighting, even uplight, landscape uplighting on the outside, look, going up under the overhang would help. Mm-hmm. But it's very creepy dark. It, it is. Mm-hmm. Even yeah. in the daytime. <laughs> even in the daytime, of, yeah. It's, um, we'll get yeah. Could that be it, part of our I think it, project when we start to tackle that is that our public art lights up. Lights up, yeah, yeah. I mean, light up, light up Clemson, light up Clemson, yeah. People love mm-hmm. water, mm-hmm. they're coming mm-hmm. down yeah. water, yeah. and then that, yeah. it's like, well, they need to see the light. Mm-hmm. And maybe that's another, um, I like that idea. You know, like we were saying, lighting up Nettle, or lighting up Gateway, Gateway. maybe we um, challenge a group, again, another, like, Boy Scouts have Nettles, and, or, you know, something. How about Grant yeah. and Duke Power? Right, a Grant, yeah. To have yeah. Yeah. those yeah. type yeah. things lit up mm-hmm. for a while, you know, I don't, we would mm-hmm. decide if it's just seasonal or whatever, but... Um, I think lighting is really going to be better and make it safer because yeah. I know there have been some issues at Aberdathy at night. Um, mm-hmm. It's become kind of a yeah. little bit sketch. Well, and so I think we need to, 
there would um, definitely that. a variation of people in that mm -hmm. park. And some, some people are going like down. Some people are going down, yeah. You know. I think there are a like, bunch of homeless oh, people that live in, live in there, too. Yeah. 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 Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. I can yeah. perceive that. Yeah. yeah. Seeing a good location so, for mm -hmm. yeah. some other yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay, the next one is um, the downtown area. Mm hmm Yeah. And I have garbage cans. Yep. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I think sewer lives again on the sidewalk. There's plenty of them, I think, in the sidewalks, not in the middle of the road that we could do. The nice thing about that, I know people were saying worrying about having those stolen manhole covers, but there are police always downtown, especially at night. There are always police yeah. down there until the last bus rolls and the last bars are shut down. So, so that has been um, an issue, I guess, in other places in Someone lifted that manhole cover. Stealing manhole <laughs> covers. Yeah. yeah. I mean, there's yeah. probably a way to lock them. Actually, Especially the, if you made them beautiful. Yeah, and right. And they look like pieces of art. I would think that yeah. they get um, I do think there's a way to lock manhole covers with us. Know. Lindsay mentioned this once, and I just mm -hmm. made a little note as we were thinking about things like garbage cans and bike racks. Mm -hmm. And by um, Judge Keller's and by. Yeah, the study yeah. hall. Those could be painted. Mm -hmm. The what? Mm -hmm. The street expansion. The one and uh, to sidebar. The one in front of our newest mural needs to be removed. There will never be a, a tree there, and it just needs to be. Okay, I oh, was, yeah. that I agree. That I agree with. I was thinking of the poles that prevent the cars from going mm. on. Mm. Oh. oh, those solid poles. The bowers. Yeah. Okay. Mm. could be painted. Yeah. Yeah, they Just could. Mm. Something to think about. Yeah. Um, do we, let's see, we have manhole colors, covers, bus stops, shelters, and garbage cans. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, benches. And yeah, we do need some benches around because if we're going to put benches mm -hmm. at the corner there, and they're going to have mm -hmm. in the park, you could throw a couple of them. Okay. Yeah. Um, Calhoun Bridge Center is our last location. Yeah. yeah. What are you we calling have, ground? Is that the yeah the art center, center and, and the, yeah all of them? I guess yeah, okay. really. Yeah. yeah. That's just, that's the name that was given mm -hmm. to the entire building. The Calhoun. Yeah. Okay. Um, I want to. Put that on here. Yeah. I feel like because that is an art museum, art center and museum, that there should be more on the outside of that building, I agree. you know, like a mural or something. I mean, I know we've got the quilt, but I feel like there's a lot of um, space there that it should be a little bit more artistic. Maybe or cultural, and it could be a cultural mural. Well, I mean, how about on the other end where this, where the. Um, School is where yeah, the, as you're drawing the, coming up. Yeah, yeah. Art all center. the parents that come up. Yeah, they're yeah. coming up, and you, yeah, yeah. yeah. And it should I have something. So. Of, I think it should have some historical. That's what I'm saying. There. I think it could be a cultural mural. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you know, something that has history. Mm -hmm. You know, the phases of that building. Yeah, you know, being a a black school and then the elementary school, or you know, whatever it could be. Mm -hmm. You know, the history of it in mural type. But I feel like that building should be more. Because it makes me think about the Anderson Museum, mm -hmm. like the outside of the Anderson Museum, mm -hmm. kind of how they have the, the visual things. Mm -hmm. right now. Mm -hmm. I think that would be cool. Yeah. And, and so it's called Calhoun, what was it? Bridge Center. Bridge, Bridge Center. Bridge Center. Mm -hmm. Center. Okay. And just like some notation about attempting to, I don't know, how do we want to put this? Unifying the two entryways yeah. on both sides. To bring more, to bring more exposure to the, the center, mm -hmm. the location. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Well, and it would, it needs something on that side because there's just so much happening mm -hmm. on the art center side. Mm -hmm. it's like there's, there's the roundabout. There's mm -hmm. parking. There's, yeah. um, there's the quilt. There's the um, uh, giant John Acorn. Statue, um, yeah. Statue. So it's like, go around. Let's do something mm -hmm. for the other. You also want to earmark it uh, too for mm -hmm. that uh, the Green Book uh, tour. Just having it there, noting wanting to do these things, but also 
you know, no. Right. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So we got to make sure there's some space available. Yeah, and it may be, I mean, it could be other things. It could be closer to the road so people could scan it and stuff like that. Right. Not mm -hmm. saying that, that that's going to be doing stuff on the building, but just so they know that, that we haven't taken it off of the table, that location mm -hmm. off yeah. the table. Mm -hmm. Well, I, I have to tell you guys a funny story about the signage for the art center. Mm -hmm. So when we were first trying to determine where the art center was going to be located, and they suggested yes. doing it there, uh, we we were concerned that it didn't have high exposure, uh -huh. obviously. Uh -huh. And so we said, well, one of the stipulations was we wanted we would do it, we would move, help you move forward if we had um, proper signage uh -huh. on 93 and 76. Uh -huh. It took, uh -huh. I think, six years to get a sign to get those signs because it wasn't just the city doing it You're but they had to get the permission DOD. they had yeah. to get permission from the DOD. Oh yeah. Mm -hmm. So that's like one yeah. of those things where you have to plan that early mm -hmm. <laughs> almost before it even happens mm -hmm. to get it. Yeah. So mm -hmm. anyway, it's just I agree. Story. Yeah. <laughs> Isn't that amazing? Yeah. yeah. But it you know, uh definitely, yeah. And where would you put the signage? Um like you know there's two those those two sides you've got the or those two points of in entry mm -hmm. off of 93. There's the one by near the coffee house, mm -hmm. but then there's the other one that's near the gas station by the general. Mm -hmm. There's nothing over there, but that's all private land. Mm -hmm. yeah. I'm wondering, wondering if that's I don't know if there's any public space over there, but that I would be another good think, place to put it. I think it's like all apartments and like you said. Private. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Somebody owns mm -hmm. that little corner piece now because yeah, it was for sale. Mm -hmm. yeah. Was it Tom? Uh, I think he had it at one point, but I don't know who has it now. I can look that up for mm -hmm. you. Because we'd have to have conversation about that. Like with the mm -hmm. Green Crescent mm -hmm. Trail, mm -hmm. they have to have those conversations. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But yeah. it's not that it can't again, be done, it just has to be talked about. That entry right there where you're talking about that open parking lot, that is right across from Gateway. I know. Right across from the entry That's why we would I want it there. That yeah. city property and I could not find it anywhere. Mm. Well, no. I'll have to look it up. Yeah. No. It was sold a long time ago. Um, it, was. it is just a flat lot. Yeah. Yeah. It is. Yeah. So... Mm -hmm. Okay, um, so we're done, right? Mm -hmm. We have gotten every so well, gotten through. Now we haven't prioritized. Yeah, I was about to say we need to prioritize now. Yeah. In action. In action. Yeah. So we yeah. have about mm -hmm. half an hour. We have exactly 30 minutes, to, uh, okay. 34 minutes to accomplish all that. Okay. Challenge. All right. Yeah. All so, right. How do we want to do this? I think we need to break it down between short and long term. I so, say we go for the short, quick win yeah. first. So, yeah, well, there's more of those, though. Mm -hmm. So there's only two long terms. There's the Nettles and there's the uh, um, Gateway. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I think JC could be long term for that art, sculptural, yeah. right. structural thing yep. like the yeah. trees yep. at the end. Okay. Yep. That could be um, a little bit three three years or four years. And down. I think Larry Abernathy Park we mentioned maybe carrying over things from J C Park. Right. But maybe I, it's I like agree. two. Maybe it should be both. Like that would be a project. The yeah. The right. J C Abernathy the connection. connector. The connection. Mm -hmm. so project. Looking at what Meredith has done here, mm -hmm. she's got one, two, three, four things listed in that we want to get done this year. Mm -hmm. But we think we are moving. Nettles off of that. Possibly. Except for right. the trash cans. I mean except for trash cans. Mm -hmm. Are and we adding adding anything in to we're getting this done within a year? Yes. Yeah. If we do gateway mm -hmm. if for the long term. Okay, so gateway because the light the lighting the lighting could part. be one, but then also the planning a plan. to get a um design firm online on mm -hmm. you know or even classes involved with designing yes. that. Okay. And the infrastructure we've got to get. So we've got Clemson Community Care, mm -hmm. Garbage Tan, Gateway Park, mm -hmm. the mural on Entourage. Mm -hmm. Well, yeah, that's kind of a, yeah. 
And that's what we're doing for the first year. Is there anything else? I think, well, I think we were talking about trash cans in all parks. Mm -hmm. Yes. So, the, okay. And then I think we need to go ahead and start looking into the sewer lids. I mean, I think the stormwater lids and the trash cans both could be separate projects but make a big impact. Mm -hmm. So the sewer um, lids, I found a place mm -hmm. um, in Michigan that makes them. They run about $150 a piece, but they are not in color. Mm -hmm. Literally the only color, and I think we don't do it unless we can do it mm -hmm. in color. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay, I don't think people will notice it. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. So mm -hmm. I think we got to figure out how to do it in color, mm -hmm. and the only place I can find that has done it in color is Japan. Mm -hmm. Okay. Was that they can one? do it there, it can be done someplace exactly. that way. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, exactly. We're probably just not, we just don't can know. Can I ask a question? Yeah. Garbage cans, manhole covers, um, bike racks, benches, are these things we'd put out our piece to design a garbage can, or would it be to design a bike rack, to design a, um, a bench or a bench program? that they would fabricate the garbage cans or are we talking more like decorative garbage cans which to me aren't really it's not really public art per yeah. se it's making the garbage cans look more attractive and better looking yeah. and you know it makes the environment look better or are we talking about like a program of garbage cans like Greenville where we would get the garbage cans and then we would put out an RFP for just yes. like what's happening with the bus shelter yeah. that Joan did what I'm about. for like quarterly changes of the garbage cans. Because that, that was my initial want. understanding for the sewer uh, covers. covers. Or, yeah. Are we going to have an artist do it instead yeah. of? Okay. Right. Yeah. yeah. How, like, painting them? How mm -hmm. much no. interest have you had, Joan, on the bus? I, nothing's come in yet, but the application isn't due to the 20th. Mm -hmm. How long has it been? Yeah, when does it go oh, out? It's been over a month. Mm -hmm. well, and I have to say for this off-site project, we only, they only received two for that. Well, mm -hmm. and I've, I've got to say something about RFPs. Mm -hmm. RFPs, you put it out there and you're just like, I'm giving you money and mm -hmm. you can come in. Um, artists, artists want to make either a name for themselves mm -hmm. or they want to um, look at that as a meaningful something that they um, appreciated the journey that it took to put art there right. and they appreciate the place. Um, so you got to have a lot of buy-in and yeah. just because you put out an RFP does not mean that you're going to get people to come. Right. Yeah. So. Um, just know that like all of this happening, um, it doesn't mean just because you throw it out there, it's just gonna happen. Yeah. You're gonna have fights. So maybe yeah, we can put it really out quick, there. Really quick to, mm -hmm. I'm thinking some of the artists like um, at MSI, Minority Serving Institutions, mm -hmm. and HBCUs, they often don't have the same kind of connections or opportunities, mm -hmm. and those might be artists that are interested in doing this type of deal. Mm -hmm. I, I just thought about it as you were talking about that, that maybe even include, you know, sending some of the information out there. And I, I, I know, you know, people who could get those messages out there, you know, for that. But you might be shocked, you know, at, at the, the outcome of that. Well, and if hmm. you've got a person sending you an email that says, I saw your art online, I think you would be great for this project. Right, right. exactly. Like when I'm going through all of this, I'm thinking of artists in my head, or I'm thinking I'm going to research the artist that does this, mm -hmm. yeah. so I can like meet them, because mm -hmm. I have no shame. Right. I, <laughs> I'll go with you. <laughs> I mean, I'll right. I reach out yeah. to anybody. Oh, yeah. I, yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah. yeah. Like, so, Joey Walker is a good example of something yeah. like that. We saw his work over in in uh, Lawrence. Yeah. So it's like, okay, well, why did he apply? Why? And he's picky. 
Mm-hmm. And it's like, why did he do that? What was motivating him to do that? I really think we've got to track down whoever's in charge of the trash cans in Gringle mm-hmm. and start there. Uh-huh. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Well, it was a map project. Like, they are the ones, so I think it's just a matter of going to their chairperson and, mm-hmm. and talking and saying, hey, we, how did you right. do this? How did yeah. you do this? Mm-hmm. Yeah. And I think that we also need to be mindful of whatever we suggest. This is what happens all the time with, I mean, I feel, I feel for the city, um, and, you know, that come in day in, day out, and I understand this because I have volunteers in my area. Um, whatever we suggest, it has to be like, we have to be mindful of, can the truck actually pick it up? Is the person yeah. that is actually going to be removing the trash, is this going to put a hindrance on mm-hmm. sure. he or yeah. she's mm-hmm. job? You know, it's yes. right. like, so that's another thing. That of course. Have. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Function. Yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Okay. So where does that fit in with like prioritizing this work? For trash cans? That we have listed. I yeah. think trash cans need to come before manhole covers. Right. Just because I think that there's that's, such a need already. There's yeah. such a need. It and would you make can a huge them. impact. Mm-hmm. You can see them. Yeah. There's not as much research that needs mm-hmm. to be done mm-hmm. on it. Okay. We have resources to reach out to to get it underway. We do very quickly. Yeah. Okay. So we're thinking the garbage cans would be a program like Green Bell. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yes, and it needs to be this year. Yeah. One of our top priorities. Yeah. Right. Because mm-hmm. that we also need to find all out. over town. Well, and does the city have a budget now to right. do garbage mm-hmm. cans? Because right. yeah, we can of, tie together. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Joan can mm-hmm. Joan P. Now, do you mind um, confirming when you find out what our budget is yeah. actually, mm-hmm. like how much we have in the account, and how when will we get more, and how much will that be? Mm-hmm. But but also, is there but money Separate. allocated for garbage cans from, well, from this the, city? I forgot the gentleman. Uh, out was Andy. Andy. Andy yes. is the one that um, mm-hmm. was in one of our meetings that he said. You know, just tell us what you want. Yeah, like, we exactly. Have to or, or, and that's what, that's yeah. what I'm saying. Yeah, yeah. 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 I always have an emailing to Leslie about how much you have in. Okay. When she answers that, then I can find out. Like, what are we allocated and right. allocated each? Yeah. Yeah, because the artists will need to know how much they're going to receive. Well, right. It's right. conceivable that yeah. the city would pay for the garbage cans right. if it's in their budget, and then we might help allocate or yeah. offset for the, the artwork. Yeah, yeah, for the artwork. Yeah. So okay, I'll find out. Because it could be we're doing a you know a consistent can all the way through and it's just a wrap. Mm-hmm. You know we're wrapping a metal trash can or we're wrapping a mm-hmm. you mm-hmm. know or doing panels in them. It just depends right. on what we mm-hmm. what we learn. So mm-hmm. okay. Yeah. So that's um, what we gotta get to. Mm-hmm. Let's see. What do we have left? All right. So we have garbage cans. Um, I see. Thematically, I see benches coming up a lot too. Yep. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Um, and I saw a program in Charlotte where they there's a park in downtown Charlotte where they put a call out for benches. Yeah, and artists they have some nice benches. Ones. And somebody said, and I love this, mm-hmm. like um, Lindsay, I think it was you that said mosaic benches that t- or that tell a story across multiple mm-hmm. locations like we mm-hmm. come up with a theme mm-hmm. and we we have the money to buy eight benches mm-hmm. and mm-hmm. we we get an artist to tell the story or multiple mm-hmm. artists mm-hmm. and we figure out where those benches are going to be installed in which right. parts mm-hmm. or high locations mm-hmm. high visibility locations mm-hmm. um, but benches is here or seating in multiple. Yeah. And I've got, just as we're going through, I, I mentioned that the, uh, the the Green Book Trail, City Hall, Fire mm-hmm. Station, but I've also added the bike racks and benches now to this. So. Mm-hmm. All the Portland trash cans. Yeah. So, mm-hmm. let's see. I just Portland. want to clear, oh, are, are, we still, are, are we still getting the list of our short term and long term together for the city? Yeah. Or are we now moving into? Well, we're getting it together because we're talking first year priority and then we're going to go into yeah. second and fifth. So we are yeah. prioritizing. Okay. So we're, yeah. 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 yeah, we're kind of doing it all at the same time. We're the 10 right. and yeah. then we have to break 
Break you know, them into their... Yeah. Yeah. So what do you got on the top of the list? Clubs and community care, mm -hmm. garbage can, entourage. Mural. Mural. Well, I mean in terms of location. Now I do, since we've been doing everything by location, now we need to go back and uh, give those things that we got. Yeah. To me, it's like if we're going to do benches, we figure out the location mm -hmm. where the benches are going to mm -hmm. go. If that's the yeah. program we want to well, do. Well, the Shanklin Sands Park. Yeah, definitely. That, that's the number one area where I think we were talking about mm -hmm. benches, but I don't see it as just like a bench. Mm -hmm. I see it as a bench sculpture that yeah, goes right, around right. the entire like the Gowdy type. park. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. That doesn't, yeah. Have, that doesn't mean mm -hmm. it has to Which be, is different but that's than, very different than, mm -hmm. oh, yeah. than a bench so at Catherine Smith yeah. Yeah. Plaza. Yeah. You could sit yeah. on it, you could crawl yeah. on it, yeah. you could walk mm -hmm. on it, yeah. 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 And the yeah, concrete, so they're not going anywhere. Yeah. So <laughs> if you do the concrete mosaic, mosaic uh -huh. it can be a large arch structure, but it happens to be bench. It's a right. seating space. There it's a large art yeah. project. Okay, well, it was there, and we were talking about a sculptural bench at Sam's. Uh -huh. No, Sam's is what we were talking about. Yeah. Oh, Sam well, Shanklin. Sam, Sam, Shank, uh -huh, Sam Shanklin Park. Yeah. I'm trying to say that, but. Yeah. 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 Smith needs seating too, but, but I don't but know that it the needs mosaic, that kind of seating. A mosaic seating would not be what you need there. You've already so. got some benches, so I think you need to go in with consistency on that. Right. Um, well, that dictates something different. I think right. so too. Think That's what I'm saying. It's not the same bench, but it could be the same trash cans. Yeah. <laughs> so that's what I'm. Right. So the consistency would be the trash cans, not necessarily the bench. Uh -huh. right. But I think the Shanklin Park lends itself to a story. Yeah. Yeah. Story cultural bench of some sort, and a mosaic bench in concrete that's not movable. Yeah. It's probably a great place and lends lots of seating for people getting ice cream and. Now you could continue some benches into JC Park, and then you could have like the concrete tables with chairs attached, mm -hmm. seating attached mm -hmm. to them. That could also be mosaic tabletops. Yeah, right. Yeah. To mm -hmm. to kind of continue bring that it theme. all together. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You could continue those mm -hmm. mosaic mm -hmm. type around art forms around, but that's. I think that could be that down seems, the line. Right. It mm -hmm. seems, I think we do it for the Shanklin Sands first. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. As a big art project. Because I see that as a big art project. And then we want to continue that into the Catherine Smith yeah. and yeah. JC and Abernathy yeah. later, we mm -hmm. could. Right. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I would personally like to offer um, the. Either Clemson, I mean, if to me, Shanklin and Clemson Community Care are a big project. Mm -hmm. Yes. So I think we have our 22, 23 things mm -hmm. there. Mm -hmm. Like, so we would say something sculptural at Clemson Community Care. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And then to me, it's like the Gateway Park getting started yeah, mm -hmm. on that, that long-term plan. Mm -hmm. And now we'll throw out there for maybe year three or something, if the bench thing goes well at, at Shanklin, I could see expanding, a, that. expanding that to Gateway, yeah. like yeah. two different locations or, and Gateway for, mm -hmm. for bench. Or um, even the Side College mm -hmm. Avenue in front of TDs. Yeah, yeah exactly, yeah. for the sign. But I definitely think yeah. we have some signage there. Yeah. Um, that falls under the branding, but yeah. And I'm also thinking, like, as we're doing this, it's like we can each take, you know, a couple of these and be the lead on it. Like, right. I could be the re lead on garbage cans, whereas, mm -hmm. like, maybe um, Julie and Joan mm -hmm. are the lead on Gateway Park, or like, mm -hmm. yeah, yeah, that would be logical mm -hmm. since this yeah. is like our yeah. passion. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah. exactly. Yeah. And then, and then maybe something, because um, we have, like we could get we could get you involved, Mia, on something um, for the for the community, their Calhoun, Calhoun Center. Center. Yeah. 
Well, and then we could also go around and say, I want to mm-hmm. work on yeah. these three. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Like, yeah. This is where I think my my resources and knowledge would be the best. At. Right. Yeah. We probably mm-hmm. want to. Because uh, you're over there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 kind of your yeah. building. Yeah, yeah. 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 it would be really yeah. good for that. I would love kind to make yeah. yeah, definitely. Yeah. I'm sorry. I, I no, no. Real death, no, I just <laughs> thought of it. No, I was sitting here going, because yeah. I know she's day in and day out. Yeah. So I think, yeah. and especially with there being three entities in that building, we mm-hmm. would need to kind of work on it in that way because it's going to have to, um, you know, just letting people know, hey, this is going to be happening yeah. first. Mm-hmm. Right. Right. You know, right. It can be it can be different when you have multiple entities. Right. Yeah. yeah. Definitely, we need to. That was part of the thing is in the, you know in our agenda is to assign mm-hmm. uh, pet projects to everybody. Mm-hmm. Okay. Yeah. So what needs to be done at Clemson Community Care as far as an action project? Let's go through. I've written everything down except Clemson Community Care. Mm-hmm. I feel like that needs to be our next for large. Scale Not project, yet, but short term. It needs to short. be an RF small RFP put out. Are we saying we want Clemson Community Care to be the sculptural piece in 2022, mm-hmm. and then Shanklin would be 2023? Well. Yeah. Can we not do both? Because I'm thinking the sculptural piece in Shanklin is benches. So it's a whole different structure. Can we not do both? Can we, we not get both going? Lighting at Gateway, mm-hmm. trash can wraps might could be funded through the city. Yeah, mostly. Mm-hmm. So we might could afford it to do both. Mm-hmm. Well, th- I think that's the next step. Each mm-hmm. one of our pet projects needs to be investigated mm-hmm. with, yeah. with a final, with a estimated cost of what we're willing to pay. Yeah. Yep. And um, we'll kind of go from there. Mm-hmm. So if okay. we decide these are going to be the right. top priorities for the next year from now until next June. Yeah. Okay, so you have, Sue, what do you have down? I have garbage cans Mm -hmm. for 2022, and the notes I have are they would be similar to Greenville's program, so we'd need to find artists to submit work that could be transferred to print. Mm-hmm. They'd be in multiple locations around the city, Mm -hmm. in the parks in Meredith, I have your name by it. And then I have sculptural bench and I don't know whether that's 2022 or 2023 for Sam Shank- mm-hmm. Shanklin Park. Mm-hmm. I, I can put my name next to that. Okay, mm-hmm. I'll try to research that. Be great. Then I have a sculptural piece at Clemson Community Care, and yeah. I don't know whether that's 2022 or 2023. I uh, think I- if we can get the RFP out, I don't see that it could be built before 2023. No, that's just not. But I feel like we should get mm-hmm. the yeah, process I don't going. Start communicating um, with the director. She's one of my good friends. Who is that? Uh, Karen Carter. Oh yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And so I could just start communicating. Yeah. Yeah. We're thinking about this. What are your thoughts? What would you mm-hmm. like to see mm-hmm. be right. out there? Mm-hmm. Um, just to just to start that process so they're right. They're part of that communication. Yeah. As well. Yeah. And I guess for, uh, uh, go ahead, I'm sorry. And if we could, like, maybe meet with her or whoever is going right. with you just to come like, in. meet with her and, like, just walk the property. Mm-hmm. And if everybody wants to, like, mm-hmm. whoever's in charge of each of the properties, mm-hmm. if you're ever on that property and you're like, hey, this is going to be brainstorming on Tuesday from, well, maybe not Tuesday, but, <laughs> yeah. like, Monday from, like, 5 to 6. Mm-hmm. Just put it out there. I'm going to be... If, if you guys want to join me, I'm going to be walking Gateway Park. Right. You know, that kind of thing. Yeah. Gotcha. Jennifer, do you want your name initially on Clemson Community Care, too? Uh, to, talk, to communicate with them, sure. Okay. Sure. The RFP part of that, well, I might I think you're right. That'll be, that yeah, yeah, that'll right. go through, right. Joan, once we have more details. Mm-hmm. And I, I think, think, first of all, we have to... Talk to the city council about all this. Right. Yeah. This uh-huh. all has to come down from their approval. Yeah. Firm. But as far as but in a way, each one of us has to take some ownership in some of this to make sure it happens. Mm-hmm. And we can because that's our. We big can problem. be ready yep. to go with it. You know. Right. We want her to research. We'll learn. We'll learn mm-hmm. along the way. Mm-hmm. Yeah. The entourage building we need for Joan P. Yeah, I'll follow to up. ask about. Uh, Joan Bacon. I've Joan B. Oh yeah. well, you need to find out. 
I mean, I, I'm assuming it's like the dockside project is we can ask the owner, you know, it doesn't have to be funded by us, but I think a conversation needs to start. Mm -hmm. So I'm happy to contact the owner and see if they're at all well, interested while Joan P. finds out. Because it might be they just the want to do their own. The problem with the entourage thing is if the city is like putting their foot down saying we're not getting mm -hmm. involved with that kind of stuff mm -hmm. again, uh, we would almost have to... They might really change their mind. I well, in the RFP... Oh my gosh. In the RFP... What is happening. Mm -hmm. They would have to clearly state that they are fully responsible for the, 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 the actual physical everything. Mm -hmm. You know, they don't, we're not going to do re... Um, what do they do um, when they put the epoxies and stuff? Well, right? on it, all that stuff they did to it. Yes, oh, the Yes, the wall. Stucco. The stucco. The stucco, yeah, re stuccoing and all that stuff. That's not our responsibility. Mm -hmm. That was my reaction the first time, honestly. But, you know, but we didn't put that clearly. We didn't state that clearly. So basically, you want me to ask, I'm going to ask about private buildings. Yeah. yeah. And then I'm also going to ask. Can the commission go to a private store owner and say, hey, we'd love to do an RFP process for your, and here's what would happen, right. how it would work. Right. Right. Okay. But we would not, the, the key thing is not to be responsible for all right. that other detail right. we were before. Right. Just the funding of the artist the to artist. do the work. Mm -hmm. They would provide the clean slate, the mm -hmm. clean canvas, and we would, yeah. Okay. And who is it that we need to ask about that? Jim, I have Andy. to ask Andy. 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 Yeah. Okay. Gateway Lighting. Whose name's on that? Because that would be us. I'll, I'll take that project because mm -hmm. I'm so adamant about it. Mm -hmm. I would love to be part of that. Okay. Yeah. yeah. I think I think the idea is the sculpture garden, the long term mm -hmm. for mm -hmm. it, and that. We, we have some, I think, I think I've heard a lot and agree with this, that areas need to be cleaned up for, yeah. us, for us to be able to do these things. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And then, I guess, on this here, we haven't talked, we've only talked about, um, four, four mm -hmm. things here. Right. Um, we have all of the other things that we mentioned too, like um, well, the Calhoun Center for one. That's on there. On there. The Calhoun Center. Yeah. We have JC Park, where we talked about an arch or structural piece at the entryway. Mm -hmm. We talked about um, you know other um, easy wins like. Painting manhole covers, right. mm -hmm. or I mean, I threw out the idea of mm -hmm. stanch the stanchions too. Like those could be easy yeah. wins of having those painted. The bollards, yeah. Mm -hmm. um, Nettles Park no. was number one, a number one location for us, but we don't have anything for Nettles Park except for the garbage cans. Can. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Well, I think we need to see what the plan is. Um, right. For Nettles Park, yeah. yeah. What? Because that's obviously ongoing right this minute, so I think we can probably hold off on that, but note it as a location that needs to be yeah. con controlled through RFQ, RFP, something like that. Right. We have our city-owned locations that we, I think, mm -hmm. it's a couple things. We want you to hold these spots mm -hmm. and ask anybody who wants to do mm -hmm. to do something. Well, that's already the existing policy. Yeah. We, we eventually want to do projects in these locations. Mm -hmm. We're asking that artists come and ask to do something that you would tell them that we're waiting to do requests for proposals mm -hmm. in those areas. Yeah. Any other areas are open to possibility, like neighborhood parks would be a great mm -hmm. thing if people wanted to get started right away on mm -hmm. doing something, mm -hmm. they could go to a neighborhood park. Right. Um, so we have our, our 10 locations, and then we have, I have four things right now that we would start on garbage cans, start that up in 2021. Right. 
we would the sculptural we would start all of these things in 2021 right. with right. an end date of 2022 or 2023. to 2026. Yeah, depending yeah. on what it was. <laughs> right. Yeah, well, I like that. You could have short term and then you could have long term, like yeah. goal or something. Yeah. Um, Mia and Lindsay, would you guys be willing to just kind of start searching local artists? Sure. Yeah, that would be great. Oh, and like local, does it have to be? Does it have to be Clemson? Okay. Yeah. Well, like, and I know that I was. I had in my head. It didn't have to be, but I was going to make sure. Yeah. Right. Just towns that already have art in them. Mm -hmm. Who did them? Right. Mm -hmm. If it's something that you love, just jot down their name and what yeah. they did, yeah. so we can just have. And yeah. good some resources. A good yeah. place to start is South Carolina Arts Commission. Mm -hmm. yeah. um, Harriet Green is just such a wonderful resource. She is. And she, she really is. She's our um, program manager. Yeah. 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 She's, she's been, been with us from the very beginning. She's been with us from the very beginning. She's just a force of nature. When you meet her, you're just like, oh, I know. Wow. I know. Yeah, I think that it, it is. I am. I have been surprised though by how little response we've gotten on some things, and it. it I just keep feeling that there's we're not tapping into the right sources or approaching oh, yeah. it the right way. Mm -hmm. I was also wondering if it was just timing because mm -hmm. so many artists are scrambling for different jobs and all right, right. now. Right. Mm -hmm. Money whole, and yeah. the well, economy right now is money. Not, I mean, they mm -hmm. have to. They have to invest. You know, maybe a month. They have to come live here mm -hmm. and work on this, mm -hmm. or depending mm -hmm. on what it is. Yeah. So it's so how do you balance it? And then the other part of it is it being a you know, government entity, we yeah. have to put it out to our it is an RFP. We can't just like cherry pick somebody who's willing to do it. Uh, we still have to follow the guidelines, right. you know, that the state sets up for us. So mm -hmm. it's it's challenging. And what we're we're giving artists is not a lot of money. Right. right. So exactly. That's another <laughs> yeah. thing. That like they can go to another city and get more money and do exactly. The same thing. Mm -hmm. Exactly. Exactly. Yeah. That's why personal buy-in is yeah. always nice right. to have somebody who's doing it because right. they've been they grew up in Clemson or they went to school here or which is another reason why we should be doing better than that because there's so many people that have come in and out of this city that have had some sort of relationship with it. Yeah. You, you think we'd have a but it's not a big art school. Is know? it advertised with the I guess it is it advertised like I guess within the university with art the directly. No, no, like in general, like when we do the RFPs and things like that, is oh. it pushed out to art It students? is. Yes. Yeah. Oh, yeah. 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 Well, and I just sent an artist the bus an interest wrap, mm -hmm. like while we were sitting here, because right. I'm just like, oh, I've got the, I've got a great person. Like mm -hmm. that's. Yeah. Right. I think that's going to be the, probably the most sex successful wrap right. we have. Mm -hmm. Reaching out personally. She probably yeah. didn't even see it. Yeah. She's like an internationally known artist. She lives in Clemson. Like. Yeah. This is right up, right up her alley. Yeah. Yeah. Um, we don't have, have, have internet here, Joan. So I'll email it to you. Joan felt she right. when I get home. That's mm -hmm. fine. What you need to do? I am the end of it. Yeah. 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 I don't know. Does this mirror one more meeting? Like up like this? I feel like we need to do some homework. Well, that's what I'm saying. Like we need to go and. Should we go and like all separate out and work on our our, our, our little project? Yeah, yeah, I don't know. I don't know if we need to do that mm -hmm. or we need to do it just at a regular meeting. Well, regular. I meeting. think at a regular, a regular meeting. meeting. Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. I mean, don't you? Because okay. that's this is what yeah. we're working on now. Yeah. You don't right. have a, there's not much else. Right. There's actually nothing. Yeah. Else. On, I have an on our on uh, doc side. That's and that's it. Yeah. So okay. I only put my name on the garbage can because I also mm -hmm. want to put my name on um, two other things. Mm -hmm. It is inventorying and cataloging existing art. Mm -hmm. um, I want to do that. And I also want to add to that external public art things that are existing that aren't falling underneath this group, but mm -hmm. we need to be mindful, like the Clemson mural that mm -hmm. with the letters that's so popular uh -huh. downtown, uh -huh. and then dot sign, you know, we now have a part of that. Mm -hmm. And I could foresee, um, now that we have three murals downtown, mm -hmm. you know, two of them that we have a part of, yeah. I could foresee, like, the churches downtown looking at their concrete walls differently. Mm -hmm. I could mm -hmm. see Holy mm -hmm. Trinity 
um, with their day school that has like a concrete wall, looking oh, at that wall. So I no. think that we need to start like um, being mindful of other private places. Right. Or, yeah. For sure. That might. Yeah. I, I think a lot. We got a lot of exciting things going. Yeah. Right I just too. Can't lose yeah. 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 Not to lose. I know, right? <laughs> like, <wow>. Yeah. <laughs> really good. All but right. I also think, y'all, if this goes according to plan, when we make these impacts with trash cans or sewer lids or whatever, people are going to start talking, and I think the money will also come. There yeah. will be people that will leave a gift to the art commission to do a piece or something. Yeah. Agreed. I mean, yeah. I think that will come if we do it correctly. Yeah, I, I agree. I think so, too. John Phillips. Yes. Is there anything that you can add or want to add? I mean, you've heard a lot. Like, yes. Is there any, like, words of wisdom or anything? Before everybody leaves, I have to ask them. Yeah. Uh, uh, no, uh, I think my biggest concern has always been how do we stay separate as the Arts Center and the Commission? Well, and I, I'm starting to think now, after hearing you all, and you came so far today in this program, <laughs> We're talking about some of that low-hanging fruit, the bus shelter, right. the, the things like that. Mm -hmm. Did I think that anything that is, for me, anything that's public as permanent would be your realm. And maybe for us would be more community programming and maybe stuff maybe that's not permanent. Like if we did like a treasure hunt or something like that. Or, yeah. um, or a a sponsored a musician. Or, yeah, at, something yeah. like that. Because yeah. I'm trying to figure out, now that we're all as a part, now mm -hmm. that we're a department, how do separate, you know, what yeah. do we separate and how we do that? Yeah, right. I definitely um, feel that the art center is geared towards teaching art programming. and yeah. programming for the citizens. Yeah. And, and we're looking at more, more functional, permanent, permanent installation art. And I think today art. finally solidified that. Mm -hmm. um, also, I think you're right. Um, getting people to answer RFPs and things like that. I think we are at a point now where we just invite artists oh. to do it. Yeah. And but I don't know if we can legally do that. I don't know. Well, I'll tell you what, Doc did. Mm -hmm. They went with yeah, the two a... RFP guys. So Joey Manson and another person is. But that was their money. That was yeah. their money. Yeah. Our money. So I, I don't know. Um, I, the public art yeah, yeah, I mean, yeah, I, I, I think great. we can commission and then yeah, we can I have think the you can commission. Input. I think that's the way yeah. to start yeah. instead of putting all these artists out in the beginning. Yeah, I think you just do it. I that's how they too. did it. That's how the Art and Culture Commission or Council did it in Philly and in San Jose. They commissioned people. They did very few mm -hmm. artists. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. You just have to give the details. Yeah. You just have to give the yeah. specifics. And we have artists. to give the city a chance to respond mm -hmm. as to whether, yeah, they like this. We can't just say, okay, you're it. We have to put it out to the city to say, this is what we're looking at installing. Yeah. What do you right. think? Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. Well, I'm I'm that's what that's great. Great. Yeah. 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 Yeah.